All right, chat. Let's do it. Um, which one is it, do you think? It's probably the one in English. This is Toho 14.5. E. <clears throat> it used to just be T-H-O-8-E. There we and go. It made me laugh because, haha, E. This is a fighter. This game is a second most recent fighter. And it's, I mean, you know, a lot of characters in it, including my favorite. And, and your least favorite. At the same time. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was cool, though, how I clicked it. It told me that it was booting up, and then it was good to go, and then it didn't fucking run. It's so good. Oh, I'm loving it right now. I'm loving this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Mind your ears, chat. Oh, yeah, right. This is going to be loud as sin. Ooh. Look at that. That's a cymbal crash if I ever did hear one. So we got red and blue fire. All right. That's much better. All right. It's good on us. How's that chat? Is that good? Can you hear it that like sounds so properly? Much better for us. There we go. All right. Let me get the let me get the capture up now. Yeah, I didn't set this up ahead of time, chat. I was a little busy. I was uh, doing other things. I uh, I ended up recording more lines to add to the script because I'm a fucking idiot who can't not just like take a chill pill. So I'll have to put that together. Well, it, was, it wasn't too much. That's a little big. Well, it's it's a pretty new age game, after all. I guess that's true, but like it's, it's covering the borders. Well, there's not much I can do about that, Andrew. Okay. Yeah. Nothing I can do about that, as, as, as it is. Anyway, okay. let's exit the game again. And hit the thing. Pretty much all the Steam games do that, too. It's nothing new. Okay. There's no reason to try and like force it into 4x3 ratio. It just makes it look ugly. You can't, well, I guess if you just layered the borders, you'd be cutting off screen. Yeah, that, that, would, look that would look even worse. The borders are just there to cover the dead space, but some games don't offer dead space. Like, dead space. <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, this font is interesting. Yo, did you see that Pac-Man? I see it right there, too. <laughs> so this, chat, this is Urban Legend in Limbo. Um, I don't know what people's opinions are in this game. I but, uh, up a bit about it just so that I knew something of what we were doing. I like the story of these games quite a lot because I think I've they're heard very. A lot about I think they're very games. interesting. I'm not very good at the fighting games, and well, neither am I. This is gonna be a experience. This is 2015. This released the same year as 1215, if you can believe it. And then the next game came out. Chat. Did 15.5 come out in 2018 or 2019? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, everything should be good. I'm not really gonna fuck with the buttons. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. You know, maybe I should. Oh. Alright. Should, uh, should I know what you're setting all these things to? I'm just trying to figure out what's doing what. What's the flight button? Shot. Special. Uh, set special to buttons. Okay. I don't know what buttons 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, and 7 are. Uh, I don't know what button. Button 4 is triangle. Or Y button. Spell. I'm gonna put that on R button. And okay. Flight. I'm gonna put that on L button. Okay, so this is. Uh, LT or RT? A, X, C. What, what, what is R C? R and L. You read the keyboard, not the button. <laughs> I meant to say B. Okay. I didn't read the keyboard, I read the buttons. A, X, and B. And then pause. It's not even a C button. There we go, pause. That should work. Alright, select your icon too. Here we go, chat. I'm gonna hit story mode and we're gonna begin. So this game actually does something a little different here with uh, the game. It'll automatically start with a, uh, a little tutorial. A little tutorial story. It's like three fights or something with Raymo. I found something real interesting here at Corrin, though. Looks like nobody noticed this phenomenon yet. Better act now and take this power from my own. Marisa. The zoomins. Oh, uh, hi. What are you up to at this hour? Well, I found something kind of interesting. So, chat, this game's art is all done by Moe Harukata, who did the art for Forbidden Scrollery. Yes, so, I read about that. You, you probably see some similarities in it, but it, it's a little different when you look at it in color and you look at it not in color. But I remember when I was reading 
Forbidden Scroll era, is like, huh, these characters look a little bit poofy. Like, they kind of remind me of, uh, they remind me of the fighting games. And I checked them, and sure enough, there it was. And I figured I could test it out on you. Test it out, huh? That doesn't sound too friendly. Like, look how poofy Reimu is. Reimu is very poofy, even her sleeves. But I've got something, too. You came just at the right time. Time to cut loose and test this out on you. Behold this mysterious occult power. Now, how do button work? Dual ready. Let's see. Melee, yes. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know what I just did. Okay. That's... That was not a dash, that was her move. That's her spell. What's my gauge? Oh, the fireballs. Uh, L button. You have 700 total spell power. I don't know what that means. Why does Marissa only have one? That's oh, L button is, uh, L button's dash. Okay. So you, you move, you can dash with the L button. And R button is probably for spell cards, but I don't know how to do those yet. Okay. I'll call patient. I skipped, I the skipped tutorial. the tutorial. I mean, does it really work any differently than everything else? I don't think so. Auto combos are good. Now you have the oh, the computer's power. on easy, I just realized. Well, not that that really matters. Do I didn't even set up? it. When I said test out, I actually meant having you taste these mushrooms. Oh, wait. That was me. Yep, be my guinea pig. Just what are you trying to show me by attacking me all of a sudden? Don't tell me you've already finished, are you? Of course not. I have a taste of this, a new way to use the occult urban legends. Cursed portrait of past principles. Weird spells and occult balls. When an occult ball appears using a weird spell, it works harder than a normal than a spell card, and your attacks barely have any effect on them. Troubling! The weak point is the occult ball. Every time you touch it, the purple gauge will decrease by stopping the ball. You, you can stop the weird spell. Yeah, so this is the this is the gimmick of this one. I see. When they use their uh, when they use their urban legends, you have to attack the occult ball to knock down their like defensive gauge. I like then the you can background arrow them. pointing at get occult ball. So, okay, the portraits themselves don't hurt you. This is welcome to Toho Portrait of Ruin. Well, not really. Marissa's urban- Oh, I don't even know what happened. You touched it. Well done, you managed to break the weird spell. The enemy's off balance for a while. You can't block before they recover. End this with your attacks. Use a spell card on her. I think I just had to be there. I don't know how to do that. Is that not what our button is? Do I just- Yeah, I just need to be near it. I don't need to hit this one. So, yeah, every character in this game has an urban legend that they're, uh, that they have based on. Marissa's is based on the seven, the seven legends of school. That's a popular ghost story stuff. Stuff like, uh, yeah, the portraits, the the stairs that have one extra step, the uh, the eyes moving in the music room, uh, Hanako-san. Like, I don't know all of them. If anybody knows all seven of them, please let me know. But well, I, I know a few of them. Well, that's it, I guess. Isn't it cool though? We can freely control the urban legends. Well, I certainly realized that much. But what was that bizarre ball a second ago? Beats me. Thanks, Marissa. Very helpful. And now Kassen's in the game! Whoa! Hey, whoa! I see, I see. So Marissa's also acquired a ball. Kassen Ibaraki. Marissa also? Oh, just kidding. Sorry. What were we talking about? Hmm. So you was playing dumb. I thought you would know something about the make-believe urban legends. Looks like I was right. That urban legend being, if you collect the seven occult balls, <laughs> you mean the Chaos Emeralds. A Delicious huge incident granted, occurs, right? right? Eh? Mm -hmm. Eh, whatever. So when Marissa used this weird move, that this weird ball appeared too. I would think that ball was one of those rumors of cult balls. Although in the first place, I don't know if someone just spread that rumor as some kind of make-believe urban legend. If your story about Marissa is true, then you're holding one that- you're the one holding that occult ball right now. Hmm? My apologies, but I'll be taking that ball here and now. <laughs> yeah, they're- they're Dragon Balls, because when you collect the seven magical orbs, magic happens. That's just the way the world works. Perfect. So again, now, this is just a tutorial. No, I don't know Kassen very well, but I thought her other arm was the one that she lost. Uh... Maybe I'm just- I, I don't know. I can't remember which arm it is, but I'm, tr I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Okay. I, it's the right one here, but I thought it was left. I don't know why. Kassen is, uh... Kassen's like the only character to feature in a written work. I guess, well, I guess Aya. Aya was the first one. But 
Usually the written works focus on characters that you can't actually see in the games because they don't have appropriate power levels for it. That sounds really stupid, I know, but the idea is like Rinosuke, Akyu, Kozusu, they're all just kind of like humans. Or, well, Rinosuke is human slash yokai, but they don't really have any powers themselves. Oh, you can just double tap Oh, I just realized that. it has like a gauge and a health bar in the center of the screen. Yeah. There I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Damn, bro. You get to hit them a lot at least, so I need to figure out a good combo. Um, but Kusen, Kusen is the character who is the, well, uh, she's basically the main character of Wildhorn Hermit. It's her, it's her story. And she's really powerful, it seems. Yeah. Powerful enough to beat a fighting game. So Aya technically counts, because Aya's first appearance as well was, uh, in her first book, and then she became a playable character in Toa 9, and then she was, you know, she had all kinds of shit going on for her. So can you not hit her at all during this? You can, but she doesn't flinch. Okay. So it's super armor, got it. Yeah. Also, Kassen's Urban Legend is the Monkey's Paw. I'm sure you know which one that is, chat. I don't. You don't know the Legend of the Monkey's Paw? I don't. It grants you... Chat, now that I have to explain it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck this up. The Monkey's Paw is, uh, you see that episode of Simpsons? It curls really its paw when it yet. grants a wish, but it always grants it in the, like, it grants your wish, but it does it in a way that's, like, not... Basically, like, genie way. I wouldn't say genie like, way, but like it grants it in a way that you don't like. You don't really want it. You don't want it to, but it still grants it. It, it technicalities you. Yeah, like genies. You get them fulfilled, but not how you want it. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. I can't think of any examples. I guess an example would be like you know, if you wish for a million dollars, you have a million dollars, but it turns out it was uh, you, you you just stole it. It's all stolen money. It didn't or just appear out of nowhere. It's all Doofenshmirtz once compared it to. It's like you wish to jump really high and he turned you into a frog. Genies are just assholes, but the monkey's paw is some kind of forbidden shit. Okay. Well, I figured as much. You're not going to hand it over that easily. Using my full strength here would be risky for several reasons. I know at least warn her, though. Chat, where did the story of the monkey's paw originate from? That one might explain why. What was that? You pulled out some weird ball, too! Don't tell me it's just like the rumor said. Remu, this ball is dangerous. It isn't a rumor that someone fabricated. This ball alone isn't some make-believe urban legend. Most likely, this is a legitimately a great occult incident. And then, final stage. Darkness of the Night of Occultism. Jeez, thanks to all that weird stuff she was saying. I'm too intrigued to sleep. Yeah, yeah. There she is! Who's there on a night like this? No reaction, meaning there's nobody in front of me. Oh dear, I must be sleeping after all. This is just a dream. Or I'd rather not. Not with this occult aura. Better strike before they do. Nailed. <laughs> the Monkey's Paw is a supernatural short story by author W.W. W. Jacobs, first published in England in the collection The Lady of Marge in 1902. In the story, three wishes are granted to the owner of the monkey's paw, but wishes come with an enormous price for interfering with fate. So it's ba uh, it originated from England. Okay. Okay. From Wikipedia. Or Wikipedia. I was just wondering because, you know, genies grant wishes and they're assholes too, but I don't really know where that originates from either, but usually it's... I don't know. Probably just... I think of Aladdin when it comes to that. Speaking of genies, doesn't the, doesn't the icon kind of look like a genie lamp? A little bit. I kind of see it. Yeah, it's just like the the ghost tail is like the the, the, the where it comes out, and then the the, the, the characters kind of make up the rest of the shape of the pot. I, uh, that's weird. <laughs> all right, it's Earth Cat all over again. Oh, it forced it on easy mode. So I'll click normal and see how it goes. All right. So yeah, Ramos is done. Ramos, Ramos, uh, urban legend. Yeah. I don't remember what her urban legend is. Try and name those. I don't remember what Rainbow's urban legend is. Magician Arcane Horror Menace. So it's all three of these characters. So we have all sorts of urban legends have been spread through against Tokyo. Of those, many were made up intentionally or established practice to turn a person to lead. Turn a personally convenient urban legend to one's own power, but regardless, Marissa was here for a particular purpose. So we're taking care of all that. During her fight with Raymond, when a cult ball had come out of her own body, there was a rumor that gathering seven of these occult balls would cause something to happen. And she swiftly set out to gather the balls, and somehow had a feeling the kinds of people would be holding them. So I'll just pick uh, Marissa. 
Can so Rainbow's use... story, that's Rainbow's story, just three stages? There's Two more to it than that, but she started, she functions as a tutorial firstly. Okay. So let's see, what is future? What the fuck is future? <laughs> yeah, what is future? That sounds like a Koishi stat. Blazing Star sounds like fun. Oh, I would've picked Master Spark because why wouldn't I? Can't back down now. So then what happened? With the shadow person shrouded in an occult aura. Hmm. I don't quite remember, honestly. Remu. <laughs> so, wasn't it just a dream then? Hmm. Sure, it's a shame though. If only it had been me, I would have captured him alive. Huh? Anyway, give me my ball back. What? What's this about a ball? Don't play dumb. You know the shadow person showed up because of that thing. I'll be taking on this investigation. Alright, time to beat up Raymo. Ow. Not good. What can Marissa do? Well, that. she can do that. That's part, the, that's part of the auto combo. Ow. Ow. Still haven't figured out how to do uh, moves, so I've just kind of been hitting the button. I mean, is that not what we were doing in the older games? Oh, that's a fun one. Spain! <laughs> Let's see. I don't. Oh, you've got one hell of an anti air. Can't move. What? A home where one lays on one's head. Look at this incredible Shoryu. <laughs> that's like Zero's move from Marvel vs. Captain. God damn. Yeah, that's that's definitely Zero's uh, Shoryu. Every uh, Capcom character had a Shoryu. <laughs> bro, did you see that? <laughs> Look at this. Charge it, charge it, damn it. She puts the broom up like a fucking, like, scopes it. <laughs> it's a bazooka. I'm not a, I'm not a gauge, that's what. Oh, that was foolish. Come here. Come here, damn it. Knockout. Oh, no weird spell from Crane. She doesn't even know she has the ball. Magic. Winner. She still has the butt attack. That's weird. I was so sure you had all seven of them. Marissa looks really interested in everything in that pose. Well, I don't. Speaking of which, the one I stole from you vanished at some point as well. Hmm. Just what is going on here? Like, chat, you could take that Marissa pose and make the next, like, Caveman Spongebob meme. Surprise Pikachu. My nose is telling me there's an occult ball around here. And aside from the ball, I smell treasure too, since it's a treasure ship. Tell me that isn't Surprise Pikachu. Can I help you? Ichiden Kumoi! And Unzan! Whoops, here comes trouble. So it appears you really are a thief by trade. Eh? Is it just me, or do you seem kind of different? Oh my, has the radiating ways of my enlightenment self be revealed? Ah oh, nah, there's this creepy aura surrounding you. You stink of the occult. All Chad, right. how do I use spell cards? Ow. Well, yeah, I don't spell think it's like that. By the power of her stand. Just auto combo, why not? That works. Declare them? What? Thank you, now tell us how to do that. How do I declare them? One, two, three, four, I declare spell card war. Ow. How do you declare? I mean, I don't have enough bar for it. I mean, you set R to your spell button, didn't you? Yeah, but I don't have enough bar for it, see? She only needs one, I need 1200. It's very fair. Eight Evil Shaku sign. Occult Pillar. So yeah, they're, the, the spell cards that are based on their urban legends will have the Occult Ball in them. Yeah. Even though this one is kinda, you know, not really... I mean, I would figure, because it's called Evil Sign. Well, you've got enough bar. You could also just do this. Ichiden doesn't really have uh, range attacks. She's Cloud McPunchy Man. Yeah, she's, she's a stand user. She's a Jobo. Oh, that was silly. That'll work. I wanna... And... Shoot her down. Bazooka. She grazed it. Fuck enough! That'll work. Oh, that's it. I didn't think that was it. Yeah, this, these are a lot shorter than the last ones. <laughs> <laughs> so you really did have a ball, huh? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Just as I was thinking I'd been possessed by something, 
What was up with that ball just now? Shot, she got badly beaten up. Yeah, she kinda got she kinda got rocked. She didn't really get to use her, her thingy, but we'll see eventually. I'll explain it more when we see it. But yeah, no, she got absolutely fucking roughed up. Yeah, she looks Her clothes are absolutely destroyed. She is dirty. No worries, I ain't got no clue either. Wait, she... She oh, okay, now we're here. Oh man, there's no background characters. No, no matter, matter what, what, don't turn, turn around. around. Looks like I've searched most of the surface, so it could be that the last few are underground. Hello, hello. So her art in these games is spectacular. <laughs> Koishi Komeiji. Real horror. <laughs> Standing right behind you. Although, could the urban legends really be spreading all the way underground? Hello, hello. Where do you think I am right now? Since there's zero human traffic down here, rumors might not spread. In the first place, stylish stuff like urban legends really don't suit the rabble down here. Hello, hello. What's this I've been hearing? What's making that sound? What if this could be at another kind of urban legend? That's one of my favorite Marissa <laughs> expressions right there. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm, you know, standing right in front of you. She's behind me, isn't she? No, <laughs> I'm in front of you. <laughs> Curse dial and drop phone. Oh, dear. So, yeah, allow me to explain Koishi's urban legend. Please it's actually- do. I do love it. It's very fitting for her character. So, Koishi's urban legend is based on the legend of Mary-san, which is a doll that was- A doll that was abandoned by its owners. And they moved, uh, they moved away from it. And then the family would start receiving phone calls. And whenever they picked up, it said, Hello, this is Mary. I am, and then the, the doll would list a location. And each time the doll called the phone, the location it mentioned would be closer and closer to the, the family's house. Until eventually the call was just like, I'm outside the front door to, I'm right behind you. And then the doll would go on to absolutely moita everyone involved. So, yeah. It's very fitting for this character, since no one can perceive where she is, she can just kind of get behind you. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, we're punishing it. Alright, try to spell. All right, yeah, hey, that was kind of cool. cool. <laughs> Alright. Alright, you might just want to shoot. I think I need to be close to her after the ringing. Yeah. Yeah, like the that. The ringing is like the hitbox. So the funny thing about- oh, whoops. You lost a heart. The funny thing about Koishi having this is, this urban legend, you know, it's kind of- it's kind of important to have a phone for this, but yeah. Gensokyo- a lot of people in Gensokyo don't even know what a phone is. So whenever she tries to do the whole ring ring hello hello thing, people are like, what? What? Because no, no one- no one understands it. Also, Koishi is hard to perceive, so no one even knows she's there anyway. But, so the urban legend that she went with is very fitting for her character, but at the same time, she's having a rather- effective. She has a rather difficult time yeah. utilizing it. Would Marissa's even be that effective when there's only, like, one school in the entire land? Well, it's seven urban- it's not one school, it's urban legends that all- like, all schools share. Did anyone list those, by the way? I don't remember uh, what I they are. Check, again, could you- could you give me a- could you give me a rundown of all the urban legends that, uh, are involved in schools? Because I know that Maritza's super is Hanako-san, because that is the most prominent one. But all the other ones are just like, I, I can't remember them. They're so they're so mundane and silly. Jeez, Hanako that startled me. Toilet. Don't jump, just jump out like that. If you were just some yokai, I wouldn't care. But I've got no idea what's going on right now, you see? What was that ball just now? Hey, don't worry about it. I don't know either. With this, I ought to have all seven. But what's going to happen? She's also, like, thrashed. Just when did I get a hold of that, I wonder? Now where am I? Truth of the occult walls. Well, it's already night time and I still don't know how to use them. You have to call Shenron. <laughs> My predictions were off. If I gathered them according to the rumor, I figured something would happen. But maybe I really need to do a spell or something. Oh god of the occult! Grant me like a wish or something, will ya? What are you doing at this hour? That's none of your business. Go back to your mountain home. Oh, well, you know. Nothing's happened even after I gathered the ball, so I thought I might need a spell or something. Wait, did you perhaps find all the occult balls? Y yeah Don't know how to use them, though. That's ridiculous. 
Rainbow was attacked only just yesterday, right? Do you have some kind of power that identifies occult balls? I got a good nose. This isn't what I came here to do, but let's begin. Huh? In the name of the sage... I command, release the ban of 130 years. Pretty sure okay. she just opened the border. Okay, cool. As such, the countdown has begun. <laughs> We're so shocked. 130 years is about how old Gen Sokyo is, I think. I can't remember sense. exactly, but yeah, if you think about that, I think that spell card was, or whatever she just did is release, uh, release of 130 years means to open the border since the, since it's the first uh, creation, since, you know, Kassan had a hand in that. Yeah. Surely you're not foolish enough to not understand what to do now. I don't, I don't! What the hell's going on? If you do not intend to understand, even you will simply be eliminated. Time to jump into the big void. You guys joke, of, but all the wording around the occult balls in Japanese is explicitly referencing the Dragon Balls? Nice. Well, I figured as much. You collect the seven round MacGuffins, and the fact that the way the occult balls even got into, uh... Even got into Gensokyo in the first place, it's not surprising. You know, Marissa trying to figure out how to work them, kind of... It kind of brings up a question that Dragon Ball Z a bridge kind of jumps on, but how exactly does summoning Shenron work? Like, you just, you just call him forth. You just gotta call him? Yeah, well, you just call upon Shenron, the Eternal Dragon. Or Purunga, depending on which yeah. one you're using. This is for real, right? Still don't know what's up, though. This is a test. Naturally, if you're too weak, you'll just die. Ah, gotcha. Nothing to be scared of, then. What you're doing right now is what I understand. I'm gonna hit you. That when, so they the Earth, when they summon the Earth Dragon Balls, it just seems like they, they, they gather them and it's like, boom, now pops the Magic Dragon. But then when, when they have to use the Nanic Balls, it's like, oh, we need the password. No, they don't need the password. They just need to... What? No, they don't need the password. They need to say... They need to call forth the dragon in the Mechian language. Might as well be a password to them. They don't know how to say it. No, that's why Dende did it. Yeah, that's why they need a little green. I'm actually watching DBZ, so a lot of this is fresh in my mind. All the information I have is from DBZA, so it, it would stand to reason that some of my information might be a tad off. Monkey Paul, hand that grants wishes until death. I'm just gonna, yeah, do that. Bazooka. That's the same one Raymond did, I think. Yeah, or did to Raymond. Or not? Huh? Well, can't hit it. Oh, there you go. And he's say. No, no, it needs to have the the, 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 the thing, that, yeah. Um. Whee! Oh, oh one frame links, baby. <laughs> I guess I'll hit her. No. 130 years back in 1885 marks the year the Great Barrier was created. So I was correct on that. Cool. I pay more attention to the the story now that I'm actually playing it, but I, yeah, the 14.5 the and 15.5 have really interesting stories. It's also the closest to Gensoki has ever tied into the outside world. It also kind of illustrates how the outside world is supposed to be, like, exactly what our world is. Like, the idea of the Toho series is the outside world is our world at the same time. Yeah. So current day Gensoki is current day modern world kind of thing. It's weird, but it's kind of neat. I mean, it makes writing the outside world a lot easier. That's for sure. <laughs> monkey paw. Monkey. Monkey. That's not a monkey paw, that's like a redan hand. <laughs> the monkey paw is gross. It's, it's, I don't know if it's necessarily a monkey's paw, but like, you know, it's an old dried up mummified hand. You can interrupt an attack to declare by pressing the button twice quickly mid combo, so it's like a, a, a cancelable special. Wee! Oh god damn it! She had to wake up in vulnerability. Pew. Oh, you know, I, I'm only just putting this together now, but I guess it's kind of fitting that Kassen's Urban Legend involves a hand. Oh yeah, because she doesn't have her arm. Yeah, it's funny, I think. It's fitting for her. It Most is. characters pick their own Urban Legends. I think all characters pick their own Urban Legends. Marissa thought the school stuff was cool, so she went with that. Futos is... <laughs> Fuck, I love Futos, because it's so, it's so old-fashioned. It's implied that Sumireko is Ronko's ancestor. That's not really implied when they have the same last name. 
Well, maybe <laughs> that's the implication. They're both Usami. Also, they're both part of the, the Ceiling Club. Sumeriko's the founder. Although, Renko and, uh, Renko and Maribel's future ta is, stories take place in a very distant future. Oh yeah, that's true. Moko doesn't know she has one. Nope. I'll explain that when we get yeah. there. <laughs> they have similar hats, too. There's definitely a relation between Sumeriko and Renko. That's for sure. Well, the fact that Sumeriko is almost... The almost. exact same name, yeah. and they have the same last name, yeah. That's but you know, it's a little more clear cut than people saying that Maribel and Yukari are the same character, <laughs> at the very least. That's enough. You ought to do fine. The question is how far the generation gap works between those two. I could see Sumereko as something of a grandmother or great grandmother. It's really hard to say for sure, though. I guess it depends on how far in the future Zun placed it and how far, like, how advanced we're gonna be at that point that he set it to. Because remember, in Renko and Maribel's uh, future, they're both college age, so they're both, you know, 19 to 21, I suppose. And tourism to the moon is a is a thing in their their future. So you really gotta wonder how uh, how far along they're supposed to be set in. Hey, explain yourself. Just what's going on? You've gotten yourself caught in a trap. One that was completed only just yesterday at that. Is this about the occult balls? Or is it just laughing? After investigating, I concluded that the occult balls are akin to, to a key to undo the barrier. They're scientific, artificial matter. They created with matter from the outside world and have energy from outside. Hmm, and if you gather them? Whoever collects them all will become a new key to break the barrier from the inside, and will break the barrier as they're sent outside. The rumor about collecting all the balls was a prohibited rumor that someone fed us. Hmm, I see. Wait, what? And you've been caught in that very trap. The balls hold an unknown power, so I can't do anything about them on my own. So you're saying that at any moment now, I'm gonna have to say so long again, Sokyo. Speaking of, my vision has been wavering a bit. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, though. Just now, I was testing your strength as the first one to make a move. Which means... Before the trap snaps shut and the barrier is broken, I'm sending you to the outside world myself. Find the enemy out there and defeat them. Know that if you fail, death alone waits. No pressure, Marissa. So yeah, this is the this is this is the interpretation of the outside world in the game. Yes, yeah, she is. Well, it was only just yesterday, so nothing's happened yet, right? If you've played again against the Skydrift, how the outside world track is based on this. This is the only instance of the outside world that we actually ever see in uh, in Toho itself. Mm. It's neat. I was really surprised yesterday, though. I can't believe I got attacked by a shrine maiden all of a sudden. Her cape is really cool. I'll give her that. Ow! 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 So bright here. My eyes are starting to sting. I can only be here on the outside for about half an hour. That's what I think she said, huh? Yay, I got one. I got one. The fact that you're flying means you're not human, right? I'm definitely human. Human? And for that matter, who are you? A human from outside? Or rather, you're the one who stuck me in that trap. Indeed. I meant to introduce myself sooner. I'm Sumeriko Usami, first year student at... That high. Arirai... Higashi Fukami. Yeah, that. Come on, that's Arirai... not that hard to say. Oh, uh, yeah, let me just do that. Higashi... Arirai... I said it instantly! Higashi Fukami! Higashi Fukami. A real life psychic who silences crying children. Well, that doesn't sound nice. So that goes something. By high, you mean that, right? A school, right? Yes. Do you, then... do you not have them on your side? Hey, you know about these spooky school stories? That's so exciting. <laughs> um, I do, but more importantly, I want to hear more of your stories. Seeing as the reason I called you out here is because I wanted to learn about Gensokyo. Call me out here, you say? You see, I can actually enter your world, even if only a little bit. It was such a beautiful world. So, I want to expose all its secrets, even if I run into a bit of danger. So, the barrier is exposed to danger even on outside, huh? There's a lot of stuff I want to ask you, but I don't have any more time. The name's Marissa Kirisame, a real-life magician. I'm doing, I'm just doing my job here, is all. Yes, I'm well aware of the job of Gensokyo's yokai. I'm human. This is sort of the sort of work you do, right? Yeah, looks like you're a smart one. Kind of feels unfair fighting against a normal human, though. You ought to watch out yourself, seeing as even a high school girl can make her own weapons these days. What's a high school girl? <laughs> Allow me to inform you, Miss Visitor from Another World. I'm the strongest, most invincible kind of creature in the entire outside world. It's not See, Sumeriko's personality on for me was what? moderate, but then when I started reading the written works, holy shit, I can't stand her anymore. 
Um, think about this game is how Kassen is just kind of a character, but like you're expected to know who she is. Because when I first saw this game, I didn't know I didn't know anything about Wildhorn Hermit. So I just they were just like, oh, here's this character that everyone knows except you. Like, what? But I, I I've seen all the games up to this point. Who is this character? Because you know, Sumireko obviously she's the she's the boss, so she introduces herself because no one knows her. But everybody knew Kassen. So I was just like, who the fuck are you? Ow. God damn it. So yeah, she has a... She I guess... She's with stop signs. She's a psychic, yeah. I guess think of her like Ness, I suppose. PSI or whatever the fuck it's called. You know, I will say, Zen's interpretation of the outside world has a lot less traffic than I thought it would. Um... Do you want to model all those cars going back and forth? Well, I'm just saying. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, he modeled the building loop. Might as well slap some cars down there. You don't have to make them move. They can oh, be fuck. stuck in traffic. What do you mean, not make them move? Well, That's a terrible idea. They're all stuck in traffic. She's got a spoon. Oh, she broke it. Psych explosion. Look, she bends the spoon and it breaks. <laughs> I think I'd like this character more if I didn't read the written works. Which is a bad thing to say. Because the written works is supposed to like you and like a character more. But her personality really does shine through in those. Telekinesis illegal dumping. That doesn't sound good. No, but... Yeah, so she does this. It's raining trash! So a lot of characters in the series, or in this game, get to go to the outside world for a little bit. Which is like their first interaction with the outside world at all. That's what I like about the fi these uh, fighting games. The first one focuses more on the outside world and the barrier and stuff, but the next one is with the dream world. And both of those are very interesting prospects in the grand scheme of Toho. Mm. Which written works exactly? What? I think he means which ones made you dislike her. Um, all of them, really. Well, there you go. There's the fact that Sumireko basically took over curiosities. And... It's just like her being a hypocrite. Like, she's she's exactly the kind of character you'd expect a high school girl, a, a, a weirdo high school girl to be. She's a massive hypocrite, and she thinks she's better than others, and that's and why she has, she has no powers. friends. And she has, yeah, she has superpowers. I also dislike how she's basically like a self-insert character to an extent where she... You know, I'm just your average high school girl. I don't, I'm in the do nothing club. I don't do anything at all. My grades aren't particularly anything. I have like one friend in the whole universe, but she doesn't. And I, when in my sleep, I go to a magical world called Gensopo, and everyone there loves me. And she's like, yeah, people are interested in her because you know she's from the outside world. But at the same time, they fear her because she's from the outside world. That kind of deal, yo. So she just kind of gets this free pass to do whatever the fuck she wants, hang out with all the main characters and stuff, and it's like, this is the kind of- oh, whoops. This is the kind of shit you see in a- nice, that did more than if I had didn't do it there. It's the kind of shit you see in some self-insert fanfiction, but it's canon. It's like how people call Silent Center in Blue a, fa a fan official fanfic. That's how I feel about uh, the writing style of Sumireko. Now to be fair, I don't think she's a badly written character. I think she's a very goodly written character, because goodly is definitely a word. She's a very well written character, it's just I fucking despise her because of it, because the character she represents is awful. I think she's broken. Oh dear. Well, we found a bug, ladies and gentlemen. Oh ho! You're <laughs> approaching me? I can't beat the shit out of you if I don't get closer. Chat, I'm winning. We did it! Chat, I'm winning. Oh, I'm gonna go see if we can find it. I'm gonna go see if this is listed on the wiki, and if it's not, someone go update that. Chat, I'm winning. Are you winning, son? I win! Nice. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey. Oh, you can't look at that chat. It's illegal. No, that's just the Hakurei Shrine. We all know what that is. Oh. Propaganda trumps all. <laughs> you are not immune. So let's see. So remember, all the stories connect in this game chat. So unfortunately, I can't show you the ending, even though it's kind of relevant. So let me. I'm going to skim it myself here, and I'll inform you on the important details, I suppose. Yeah. Uh. 
There's no bad endings in the fighting games, at least. See, Marissa goes to the outside world. She comes back. The occult balls disappear. And no one is there. So, obviously, the game doesn't just end with that. No. That, that would be anticlimactic. And now she's just at the shrine in the middle of the night. Because, you know, the border, like, the the, co the connection point between the, the border and the outside world is Takode Shrine. It's the one place that exists in both out of the outside world and Gensokyo. So I guess that would be where you would open the border. Yeah. Aokusen is able to do that herself. It's pretty impressive. But she also, she can go through to and from it. That has been explained before. Because she brought in an invasive dandelion species before by accident. But at the same time, I don't really understand it, because I thought she needed a, I thought she needed Sumireko's help for that. But I guess maybe it's because she used the occult balls to open the, the the rift itself. I'm not really sure. I, I fully understand how it works. Like she opens it, so you go out there and you you fuck up Sumireko before she does something bad happens in here. But then in Wildhorn Hermit, she needs Sumireko to work kind of like as a middleman for her to get out the side the barrier herself. But then there's also the time where she just goes out anyway, with the whole. Uh, the whole dandelion incident. It's like, so how? Where do her? Where do her powers? Where do her powers stop? Who knows? <clears throat> Try her character spell and verses. That comes at the end. Because I don't know how to do the big ones, and the big ones don't really work until you. Uh, they don't really work in story mode, and the big ones in this one are pretty good. There's no fucking way. There's no way I don't show off Turbo Granny. <laughs> like no way. Not the big one, just the small one. We'll get there when we get there. We will get there. Sumireko's not even unlocked until I get to the end of the story anyway, so... Can't do anything. So you can see they have uh, credits there for other groups, so... Oh. Silver Forest did Byakuden's theme, Crow's Call did uh, Miko's theme. Hmm. Kishida Kiryodan, I think I recognize them. Huh. No, I, I recognize them. They're the ones that did Morningstar Rocket, aren't they? Oh well. I don't really remember, uh... I don't remember most of that. Shout out to the Toho Wiki and the Toho Patch Center. Yeah. <laughs> so Marissa, this is Marissa's glimpse on the outside world. I don't think she has much of an interest in going back. Well, I mean, she probably does to see what it's like, but I don't think she wants to leave Gensokyo, so to speak. Man, why I, would anyone want to leave this place? Well, they don't know this anything. This place slaps! They don't know anything outside the Gensokyo. Whereas the outside world is uh, something different. That's why Sumireko sees everything in here as something amazing. Because it's not the outside world. But I guess for Marissa, it's just it's where she's always lived, right? It's where she's always been. Anyway, it's your turn. Yay! Alright chat, you can just keep it on normal mode since it doesn't really seem to matter yeah. that much. Continues just kind of put you right back where they are. All right. So you get to do Kusen. All right. As a result of her investigation of the occult ball, it's a terrifying truth that come to light. If she wasn't careful, and someone else got Did gathered, she... gathered, not get gathered seven. It may become impossible to recover them. She wanted to gather seven before anyone else. She was sure she would be able to manage it. Why does the text have to be at that fucking angle, though? <laughs> yeah. I have no idea so, how to get the race in DLC. We've got Rap Sign, Prosthetic Arm, Proteus, Dragon Sign, Dragon Scroll, and Hawk Sign, Hawk Geek, and I thought, Arm. I thought the race in DLC was PS4 exclusive. As yeah, said. I was wondering when we were going to talk about that. I but, see. So when you came to, that enig enigmatic figure had disappeared? Maybe. I was just dreaming or something. Dream. Watch a video or something? What? By the way, where's the occult balls? What do you think this is, a React channel? Those things I stole from you and Marissa? We were only a React channel one time when Mr. Samurai guy showed us Sephiroth. Now that you mention it, those ones are gone. I was thinking I may as well collect all seven, too. Don't collect them. Just behave yourself for right now, please. Now isn't a good time. Hmm. That aside, I'll keep your own occult balls safe for now, too. Alright, time to kick Rainbow's ass. Time to figure out how to play the video game. Cool. I have that. Yeah, she I has have a, a seal. She a has animal attack. friends. That's not a... That is a seal, yes. That's actually a real thing that happened, by the way. It's not directly... It's not her pet. It's actually the Kappas. It's, uh, it's based on the story of a seal that managed to find its way all the way to Japan. I don't even know how or I don't remember where it came from. I think it was called Tama. I don't remember. 
Oh, but by it, the way, uh, where the R and L buttons you said RB or the B or top B? ones. Okay. The uh, the seal showed up in J somewhere in Japan and they treated it like a local celebrity, and then it like it left. They sent it away, and I guess it came back or something, and no one like remembered it or whatever. So that's the idea of it being in Gensokyo is that it was a forgotten legend. So it shows up in Gensokyo. She does have a dragon, by the way. I do have a dragon, but I have a seal. That's the thing I'm I'm mostly in about. She shows up. She shows up in uh, Gensokyo, and they have no idea what to do with her. Oh, nice. <laughs> No idea to do with there because it's a saltwater animal or mammal. I don't know what seals are. Well, here you go. I guess this thing's honestly kind of creepy. Let me give you a warning. Under no circumstances should you collect all seven. Huh? Why? It'll just end up giving you more work to do. Well, there well, you go. That's how you. That's how you get Rainbow out. So yeah, the Kappa look after the Kappa look after the seal, and it does shows and makes them profit. But they also have to provide salt water for it, so they have to pour salt in a bath for it. And they're like, damn, salt is not a very easy thing to come by around here because there's no salt water in Gensokyo. So yeah, that was a, that's a real thing in Gensokyo, chat. Sick. <laughs> well, this is troubling. I can't find Marissa anywhere. It was Tama-chan. Okay, yeah. I'm sure she's off collecting the balls once again, though. Again? She I forget who again. mentioned that, who, that it was from an outside world. Probably Yukari or something. Oh, this thee the hermit from the mountain, art thou not? Mono no no be no futo. I think it was one too many in there. Head tilt. For a purpose art thou led hither. How's her hat stay on, stay on her head? I don't know, man. Same way every hat stays on a character's head. Well, I'm looking for someone at the moment. Huh? There's an occult aura around you too? You haven't come into contact with anything related to horror stories lately, have you? She's still short, chat. There is She's none in particular. Small. I suppose counting mine plates has become part of my daily routine, yet there may be there any connection, I am sure. But as many times as I count, one art's missing. I can only ever find nine. Yep, that's it. Alright, well, that lets me explain this one. Right, seal powers, go. So, Futo's Urban Legend, I don't remember the name of it exactly, but here's the story behind it. Uh... I guess there was like there's this rich nobleman who married a married a girl who liked uh, who had a, a plate collection right she had ten plates she really liked whatever fine china and the the man the man was I can did, ride the bird the man was sick of being with her and wanted to remarry so in his genius he decided oh I'll I'll just I'll just kill her so I can go and remarry so he tells her that like a, one of her precious plates fell down a well. Or something like that. What and is that little friend on my arm? That's a, that's a Raiju. Okay. It's a Raiju? A Raiju. I'll explain him in a bit as well. I don't know what my projectile <laughs> does either. Anyway, so the man tells the woman that the one of her plates fell down a well. And when she, like, you know, she panics and he pushes her down into it and kills her. And then, after that, he ends up being haunted by her spirit. It's called Okiku. Okay, thank you. He, he ends up being haunted by her spirit, so every single night, the woman would count her plates above uh, over his bedside, and whenever she'd get to, to nine, she wouldn't be able to find the last one, and then she would just screech really fucking loudly. And the man had to deal with that for the rest of his life. Well... Imagine just 2 a.m. 2 a, 2 a chat. Oh, you're getting lectured. 2 a.m., you're trying to sleep, and then someone starts counting from one... And they get to they get to nine, and then they just fucking screech like a banshee every single night. That sounds fun. Well, Kiku san oh. is yet another classic. Oh, there you go. What is this? What an earth push patin. So yeah, that's also a very very old urban legend. So it makes sense why Futo, <laughs> being as old fashioned as she is, would pick it. Yeah. No need to worry about it. I'm just doing my job. Hey, we're here now. No, no, no. Paul made this is Kokoro, I think. It seems that everyone's somehow been obtaining the balls unconsciously. Maybe I need to reconsider the conditions for someone to gain possession of the ball. Perhaps I should gather information around here. Although, since I've already got two of the balls, I have no doubt I'll be able to collect all seven. Yeah, there yes, she, she is. is. Hey, am I pretty? Ata no kokoro. Oh, you're that no performer from back then. I'm asking you a question. Am I pretty? Mm, you don't look bad, I guess. <laughs> Am I still pretty even now? I see that smile. Character development. Mm, he saw uh, the story a monk called him to deal with it. He solved it by yelling ten as soon as the ghost counted to nine. Oh, I never knew the conclusion of this huh. story. 
So, yeah, let me explain Kokoro's urban legend. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kokoro's urban legend is... I forget the name of it again. Sorry. But have you ever seen the story of the woman who would walks around and asks people if they're pretty? If she's pretty? And if you answer, if you answer yes, she, uh, she eats you. Like, her mouth is like, like that. Like, her mouth is unironically like what Kokoro's doing. It's oh. split like that. And she asks you if she's pretty. And if you say yes, she eats you. And if you say no, she kills you. And, uh, the Kuchisake Ona, the split mouth woman. Okay. Now, I don't remember what you're supposed to do. I don't remember what you're supposed to do to get away from her. I think you're either supposed to uh, confuse her or say a phrase. I'm pretty sure. You're... I'm pretty sure you have to say a certain phrase. That's what this game goes with anyway. She doesn't eat you. She cuts your mouth to resemble hers. I think she'd rather fucking eat me. <laughs> if you I say yeah, okay. My projectile, you have to say you're okay. Oh, I broke her mask. Also, she also got roughed up a bit. I can hardly believe there was a ball here, too. Her dress deflated. I'm not pretty after all. Even if someone's trying to tear it out of your mouth, I think it's better not to say that sort of thing. Or, I don't really have time for this, please leave me alone. Something like that. I know someone, someone in this game says a phrase that she reacts to. I can't remember what it is, though. I'm sure we'll get there, though. Oh, hmm. Looks like I failed. You're supposed to make an awkward situation. <laughs> Right after I can't find Marissa anywhere, it turns out that she already got 7 too. Honestly. I didn't expect there to be more than 7 balls either. When they said collect 7 balls, I kind of assumed there were only those 7. My, what do we have here? Oh crap, I've been spotted. Just what have you, would you be doing around here, hmm? Mamizo Putatsuiwa. Uh, if you're climbing up, I imagine you're not planning on anything. Good. Obviously. If you've already found me, I've got no choice. I'll make you behave yourself by force. So, I'm sure Mommy Zo will use her urban legend in this fight. I'll explain that when you see Someone it. Someone explain what my projectile does, because I still haven't figured it out. What, the orb? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it amplifies your power? So yeah, to explain your little shoulder, buddy, uh, it's a Raiju. It's a creature that rides lightning. And it... It, it, uh, if you get electrocuted by it, it causes you to be incredibly unmotivated. So Raymond and Marissa got electrocuted by it, and it gets to a point where you become so unmotivated to do anything at all that you just you just die because you don't want to you don't want to eat you don't, you don't want to anything. Breathe. Yeah, you don't want to do anything. Eventually, your motivation just falls to absolutely zero, and you just waste away. So in order to here here's the thing. Here's how you get rid of the Raiju's poison. Go ahead, guess. Uh... Drink chocolate milk. No. You get one more. Uh... Does it involve drinking or eating anything? It involves eating. Do you have to eat it? No, you don't eat it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be right there on her fucking arm, genius. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> one more. What, I get one more, one more? One more. Uh... Eat, if not it. Why is she shooting UFOs? Oh, I know exactly why she's shooting UFOs. I don't know. I, I, if not eat it, then I genuinely don't know. It's corn. Oh. Just if, eat corn? If you eat corn, the poison dissipates out of your system. I don't understand why, but it is what it is. Big arm. Woo! That okay, was cool. great. It angled downwards. Does popcorn count? Good question! Popcorn didn't exist back then, so I'd imagine not. Cause that's what they- oh, they eat corn, okay. No, I have- I have- I have other things. If she has another spell card, we'll see. If she doesn't, then, well, I don't know. Huh. Oh, she does, okay. Great. Crowded alien ball. Here's Gotcha Pop with aliens. Oh, God. So... <gasps> Chad, I recognize one of those things from, uh, Splatter Faith. <laughs> <laughs> it's that fucking thing. So, Mamiza's urban legend. Mamiza's urban legend is literally the men in black. I saw that Alamal. Yeah, so she has all the little gray aliens and the men in black stuff. 
That's the easiest way to explain Mommy's Oz Urban Legend as the Men in Black. <laughs> the Flatwoods monster. Aliens! I'm having some difficulty there. I know. You gotta go. There you go. Oh, you mummified no. her. Bro! Oh, she's fucking she dead! Died. Imagine I having a command grab like that. That was a savage spin out. I give, I give, you beat me. If you keep quiet about this, I won't do anything else. I'm familiar with the feeling in this space. This is the wind from the outside world. You opened up a hole in the barrier, didn't you? Oh, so you're saying you won't keep quiet? Well, Nelly, no need to get so defensive there. I'm aware of Gensokyo's rules, but I'm still a yokai who came from outside. If you're heading to some other world, I won't raise any fuss. I'll be heading to the outside world now. My reason for doing so is a secret, of course. Mami Zo is very old, so she has a lot of old lingo hidden in there. That's so, that's so. It's all fine by me. How about I tidy things up here at the shrine, then? I'll be back right away. It shouldn't take more than three days. I'll be looking forward to a souvenir, too. The Igu... Igu... Seaweed, ego seaweed from Sato is real nice. Crescent's rainbow bullet after subsiding, explosion turns into a beacon. Crescent's HCB eagle projectile. This beacon lasts until current round ends or until. Oh, so it's like an indicator for your eagle attack. Oh, uh, as usual, this place really does not agree with me. Eight. Uh, by the way, HC is HC should be your up. Yeah, I assume it's button. riding the eagle. The way fighting games work is that uh, if you think of the control stick like a, a one to nine, so. Bottom left corner is one, and top right Why corner is nine. Why there? It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five is neutral position, one is bottom corner, bottom left corner, right, and I nine. So that's I why they that. use number inputs like that. It's very confusing if you're not used to it. My clothes have gotten dirty, so I suppose I should get this over with quickly. Yeah, you can also think of it like a numpad. That works too. Who's there? Marissa? Well there! I finally got a hold of someone non-human, I hope. Hooray! This is a huge success! Goodness, there really are people who can fly in the outside world? Well, I'm a special case. I see. Are you the mastermind who set up the occult walls? I can't believe you're trying to break in Sokia's barrier with those things. You must be very fearless. Or foolish. Yep, looks like I got found out right away. I got great results out of it, though. The plan was that if someone collected seven of the balls according to the rumor, I'd create a door that allows one to freely enter and exit the world over there. Kind of the process. It's that kind of process. Do you even know that much? Just what are you? Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Sumireko Usami, first year student at Hish Higashi Fukami High School. A real life psychic who silences crying children. Yeah, Here yeah. She's again. Wait, could you possibly be human? I never imagined that a human from out outside would try to break it down in Tokyo's barrier. You shouldn't underestimate humans these days. One can find just about anything by searching on the net, after all. Hmm. That aside, though, it looks like I arrived at the answer sooner than Marissa. I came over here on some other business, but... Now that I'm here, I may as well save Gensokyo from this crisis, too. Hey now, I know all about Gensokyo's yokai, you know. You solve all your problems with pure firepower. Yeah, when she puts it like that... Ah, you even know that, and you're still holding your ground? Don't, do you think that classical behind the times yokai like yourselves stand for the era of humans with their collective knowledge? Humans truly have become foolish. Have you forgotten the en enigmatic terror of the yokai? Have you forgotten the mind-numbing darkness of the night? There's nothing to fear for the mysteries in this day and age. Even children can make a whole collection of yokai. Know the power of human intelligence, and thus... Lament the small, narrow world that you've been shut inside. So yeah, Simireko put the occult balls in against Sokyo as a way to create a, a, a doorway between the outside world and Gensokyo, so she can come and go as she pleases. That's her. That was her goal with those. So as she explained, the, the whole reason, the whole reason that Gensokyo even exists, is because the knowledge and stuff has advanced in the human world to a point where humans don't fear yokai. Yokai. The understanding of yokai can be explained away with common sense and, and stuff like that. Rash but now things are rationalized and whatnot, so that's why the Gensokyo border blocks against common sense. So people, you know, that's the idea behind it. So yokai can't really survive in the outside world anymore because the amount of fear that's felt for them is pretty much non-existent anymore. 
Alright, I think I finally get how my wall works. You know what's interesting? <laughs> yeah, when, when you think about it, when you think about it, chat, the outside world is a parallel to ours, right? The only difference is that in there, in this outside world, Tuhu doesn't exist, right? So, how does that work? This is supposed to be a complete rep uh, replica of our outside world, and Gensokyo is supposed to exist on the other side of it. But then you think about how Tuhu can't exist in this world, unless Tuhu does exist in this world. But it also exists, it actually does exist. God damn, that's confusing. So does Zun exist in the outside world? Zun's out here? <laughs> Can <laughs> <Is> you <laughs> imagine? <laughs> Even the echo, okay. That's, a, that's actually something about Kyoko. Kyoko is a Yamabiko, and they're uh, they're known as the Mountain Echo. But even against Sokyo, the Mountain Echoes have been uh, have been common sensed away, explained away as echoes, like uh, just uh, reverb sounds. So Yamabiko became an endangered species because no one believes they exist anymore. That's why Kyoko came down to the the Myodan Temple in the first place, so she wouldn't just cease to exist. People know that Yamabikos exist, but be but like imagine getting. Imagine getting rationalized in your, uh, in a world with no common sense. What's funny is, uh, Akiu's, oh, Akiu's description of the Yamabiko is great because she just says that there are certain things you can shout in the mountains and you'll get a response from the Yamabiko instead of, like, her echoing you. But if you ask her a math question, you get no response. <laughs> Akiu's kind of mean like that. If Tuo exists in the Tuo outside world, Tuo's existence be void due to the Gensoki being in a realm of all that's forgotten. That's true. That's true. But the th I don't know, because at the same time, some people still fear yokai, but it's like, I, I, not like, I don't know, it's, it's not hard to explain. Things that are forgotten fall into Gensokyo. So, Tuo must not exist in this world. Oh, I don't know, it's... I don't know, man. <laughs> It would make the most sense if it didn't. Maybe we should put it on a higher difficulty. Shouldn't we? Well, it seems continues are infinite anyway. Why not? Might add extra spell cards to see. It's like myths, legends. The thing about the urban legends as well, as... I mentioned ah. it a few times before, but the way urban legends work against Tokyo is... Urban legends are just that, right? They're urban legends. No one knows if they actually exist or anything like that. Oh, nice. Aww. Oh, that really- Aw, oh, shit, that didn't work. I, I really thought it worked too. That makes me sad. Urban legends and stuff may or may not exist, but the way Gen with the way Gen Tokyo works, if enough people talk about an urban legend, they can actually will it into existence. So that's the idea of the occult falls. What Sumiriko's going for. And one of the- one of the best examples of this was in one of the chapters of, I think it was Forbidden Scrollery. It was Forbidden Scrollery or Wildhorn Hermit. There's a chapter where they find an old uh, conspiracy theory magazine about the end of the world in 2012. And, you know, it's an urban legend that obviously is not happening. But in Gensokyo, if they start talking about it like it's going to happen, then oh, the end of the world there. is actually going to happen. So they had to be like, oh shit, we need to get rid of this now before it actually happens. Continue. Sumireko <laughs> basically caused Lokei. Got her. No, 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 no. Okay, that she she didn't she indirectly caused it, but I'll explain that when we reach that point as well. This game ties directly into the events of Toa 15, which is really neat. But, but I'll explain that right. That gets explained a little bit near the end. All right. She went out for three days. Way to go. That's enough time to make a potato salad. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. <laughs> so they're just, I don't know, they're just fucking around, I guess. The, the all call balls are still in existence. I'm not sure what she's doing. Oh, there she is. She's bad. Looking for a souvenir. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling, I don't know for sure, I think maybe Kasen used that time to look for her arm. Maybe? Is that where her arm is? Well, her arm is in the outside world, yes. Oh. That's, uh, that's a whole plot point to Wildhorn Hermit. I guess you could say I was looking for something. Yeah, that, that would explain it. So Cassandra used that extra days to look for her arm. I don't think she succeeded. 
But that's more of a... You get more of that information from Wildhorn Hermit. I don't know when this game came out relative to Wildhorn Hermit's chapter releases. But obviously, because they existed, because Kassen is in this game and is a known character. But she hasn't found her arm. But we know that in Wildhorn Hermit, she does eventually. Her arm does become into play later. So there you go. Yeah, we go. She's gonna beat the shit out of uh, Silver Echo, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Illustrations. Harukata Moi. Nice. It's a Forbidden Scrollery Girl. So let's see the... I want to see the music again. So I know Crow's Claw... Crow's Claw did... Miko's theme. Silver Forest did Byakuden's themes. Yutu Akiyama's... He does most of the... He does most of the music for these games. Uh... Buto Ultime did the Dichromatic Lotus Butterfly one. Okay, neat. I don't know who Sound Cyclone is. Oiko. I know Silver Forest. Tai no Kobone, I don't know them. Yu Yu, don't know them. Yeah, Kishida Kyokan did, uh, did Morningstar Rocket. I really am. I don't know who Zekenya is, and I don't know who Dobu Usagi is. And I don't know who Ziki Seven is. So Yutu Akiyama only did one character theme in this game. But he handled, like, most of the themes in the other games. That's still pretty cool, though, that he ended up co they ended up collabing with different groups to use their music as official themes. Ekiboshi Rockets, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sa they're the same. Both credited to the song. They're both credited to the song. Alright. Chad, imagine that. You make a song and then fucking Zun and Twilight Frontier's like, yo, you want to, like, have that be the official theme for the game? It's like, huh? Yeah, I do. Hell yeah. I Who would say no to that? Alright, change places. Dobu Usagi is Debu. Oh, really? I know who Debu is, but I've never heard, uh, I've never heard their full name. I've only ever known them as Debu. Alright, let's go again. So next... Wow, wow fucking everyone's here. So we got Ichiden, Byakuden, we haven't even seen her yet. No. Futo, Miko, Miko. haven't seen her either, and Mamizo. Well, we've got choices. Alright, so I'll just, we'll just go in order, yeah. I'll just go in order. The ball sprang forth the battles that used Urban Legends, so the winner would be able to get their hands on all of them. Ever since the rumor spread through against Sokyo, there's been a brutal struggle among those seeking the balls. That's when an unexpected rumor reached their ears. The collecting seven balls would re lead to enlightenment. So we have New Dew Cloud, Cloud of Buddhist Retribution, and Deadly Wind of... Pentinence. I just realized we don't even have Koishi. Ask him. Her. Nope. Koishi, Natori, uh, Kokoro, and... A lot of people. Mom, and Sumireko and Moko are all locked right now. Hey, hey, you got a ball, right? Gimme, gimme! That ought to mean you possess a ball as well. I like the head tilt she does. Her hat somehow doesn't fall off, but you can see how it's like... It's tilting. It's definitely succumbing to gravity, but it's still staying on her head. Very well. I will accept the challenge. No, 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 babe. My urban legend is, o legend is Okiku-san. Tremble in fear. <laughs> Okiku-san? That's so dated. Of course you got Okiku-san. There was not a single old-timey word in Futo's dialogue. That makes me sad. Yeah, yeah, punch, yeah! Aw oh, man, I don't get to play as Unzan this time. That makes me sad. Knuckle uh, blast! <laughs> Shit. Lasers. Um, I don't know what that does. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's uh, anti-air grab. Reminds me of Potemkin. Okiku, driven to desperation. That doesn't work. I don't think we've seen Ichiden's uh, urban legend yet. No. I don't think you can use the, your own urban legend in story mode, though. I'm not really sure, though. It doesn't look like it. Hers is a bit weird, because it's actually probably the most modern one in existence. Hmm. For this game, anyway. Chat the plates over it, so. <laughs> well, when it comes to urban legends, newer means stronger, obviously. Ugh, this time I shall concede the victory. I don't really know what Ichiden's urban legend is, but the best I can explain it as is it's basically the two chan equivalent to Slender Man. Where should I go next? Oh, Miss Marissa. Thanks to our fight, I've awakened to the joy of collecting balls. I've already gathered four. Hmm. Oh, really? You can do that every time, huh? <laughs> we shall be having a match today too, no? Even if it gets stolen, it comes back somehow, if I just wait a bit anyway. You really ought to take it easy, playing with the balls. 
Well, that's what I came here today to tell you, but it seems like you won't be listening anyway. I'm glad you understand. Let's go. I like how she makes a little Bjorkern scroll out of Yeah, she makes the, the air scroll-esque with her cloud. Also, Unzan's hand is incredibly detailed. <laughs> That's just a straight-up hand. <laughs> Even got fingernails in there. They don't—they don't function as fingernails, but they're there. Yeah, come here. Yeah. Yeah. Knock him blast. God damn it. Oh, that's a cool one. Let me try. God hand. Snatch. That's oh, my that favorite. Does, that does. That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I threw it on the ground. You know, I don't think Marissa needs the broom to fly, but you never really see her without it. Hard to say for sure, really. Is that a is that a conspiracy theory I hear? I don't Does know. Marissa really need the broom? No one else needs anything special to fly. Raymo did, but now Raymo doesn't. I mean, I believe Rainbow, she'd only need the broom Rainbow to fly, it. but you never really see her without it, so it's hard to say for sure. Rainbow used to need a Genji. Well, yeah, but that's uh, that's in an era that doesn't exist anymore. It's true. Genji's non canon now. Yeah, dead. Ucha. I can't see. Boom. Wasn't it said that she just used it for style points? I mean, that sounds like Marissa. Sounds like something she'd do, since her all her Don Maku is entirely based on raw strength. This really wasn't much of a fight. It wasn't like you either. Well, I'm just not feeling it right now. At Scrub Quotes. Anywho, it's just two more to go, huh? For you, that is. I wonder who has the last two. Hmm, there's another one, one way up in the sky. That's what my nose tells me. In the sky? Why are you telling me, though? Not sure myself. I guess I just want to see what happens when you get them all. You already did. All right, here we go. Great I forgot about. Between big and small. I forgot. And yeah, Sakuna's also on that list of characters we don't have yet. What do you say in the sky? This place becomes suspicious. It's been bothering me for a while now. Why is this capsule upside down? Construction defect? Wayside school, anybody? There she is, small as can be. <laughs> hey, you. You've got lots of cult balls, right? Hmm. Who's asking? I am a descendant of the proud Inchling race. Come and humbly do battle with me. Shinmiro Maru Sukuna. Inchlings, I had no idea. If you're going to underestimate me just because I'm small, you're seriously going to get hurt. Huh. I wonder what kind of urban legend an Inchling would use. What's so funny? I was just thinking that tiny things are cute. After all, I use an urban legend that's eight shaku tall. If you think bigger means better, then you're sorely mistaken. Realize the terror that is becoming the plaything of the small. She's so tiny. She's bobbing around in her bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Bonk! She fights with a giant sewing needle. Hold on, I wanna. That is how the inchling do. God damn it. <laughs> Welcome to Dylan throws all the characters on the, the, the air ground. This bitch empty! Yeet! Ah, oh, that's that's a clip. Oh, wow. So, what Yee. I gather is that th th this castle is Wayside School. This is the inverted castle, the uh, stage 5 of uh, Fallout 14. Being a shit. You never see the outside, though, just the inside. Shake, shake. Made our giant rotation fishing method! Fish. What do I do here? Uh, I think you know what you do here. I can't grab her, she's in spell card form. Are you sure about that? You, you got an aura -ra? Wow, you really can just fucking do that. Yeah! <laughs> well, I, I think it's fair to say that this is the most fun character in the game. Probably has a serious difficulty challenging projectiles. Here, taste my god hand! She's a bit dizzy. Country of illusion. Blefusku. Look at little, look at little babies. Little babus. <laughs> She's running it on like a hamster wheel. I'm in pain. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Um, are they active while they're there? They are, yeah. Okay, so how the hell do you get near it? I think I need to be near her when she leaps no, towards me. The yeah, okay. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, I get it. Almost fail. God damn it. Come on. You also have bum power. I know. <laughs> Fucking punch everything! <laughs> Ow! That reminds me of uh, Machamp's special from Pokken, where he just throws a bunch of punches at you at once. Chat, I don't remember what Sukuna's Urban Legend is. Is it the little gray men? Well, those are little green men, so... I, pre I think her Urban Legend is based on little grays. You know, like, uh... Like little alien fellas, but I don't remember for sure. And now to finish the job. <laughs> Goodbye! Kaboom! Chat, is my favorite Toho. Ding! One thing is all it needs. Her needle broke. So Whew. their ball is cracked. I finally beat you. I guess bigger really is better. I'll be taking that ball. Why, why is the ball with the thing with the bandage on it? Take it, you thief. Sob, sob. I can't believe I lost. The rumor said that if I gathered seven balls, I could get big and everything. What kind of super specific rumor is that? Honestly, what are the occult balls really anyway? My plan was to wait for someone to gather six balls and steal them all at once, but... Ah, the Vegeta technique! <laughs> <laughs> I guess whoever's holding lots of balls must be pretty strong. I miscalculated. You really sound like a sore loser. A loser's excuses always sound so miserable. Actually, I know who has the last ball, but I guess you don't want me to tell you. I'm sorry, though your body is small, your spirit is truly great. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter to me which one of you gets them all. Allow me to tell you. The remaining balls are in the hands of that pompous hermit. She's gotten six of them, too. The needle is repaired now. Huh? I thought there were only seven of them. She's tough, though? You're no match for her, probably. Why oh, is that a question? I don't know. Oh, her. Hello, Miko. President. I say, so it appears you've been gathering the occult balls as well. Toyo Sato Mimi no Miko. That's my president. Out of everyone, the last is you? That's rough. This is definitely going to be some seriously nasty urban legend. Ugh. Incidentally, do you realize what these balls are? Once you gather seven of them, you attain enlightenment. They are balls co coveted by monks. <laughs> You've been led around by such an idiotic rumor? You fool! These things are nothing like that. As if gathering them could ever lead to enlightenment. What? Once the urban legend started spreading around, I decided to look into the origins of each and every rumor. And what did I find? Why, that most of them were spread by those near the shrine. Really? Is that so? I imagine they were taking measures to render the materialized urban legends harmless. By skillfully manipulating the rumors, they would prevent danger before it occurs. But the occult balls alone are different. I wasn't able to find the source of the rumors about them. However, I staked out the shrine for several days, and suddenly, the truth revealed itself. Oh, go on. I could only see her shadow, but it was unmistakably. A human from outside. These balls are from the outside world. What? Or couldn't you have guessed as much? I mean, don't the urban legends we're all using only come from the outside world? My, that's quite observant of you. So, knowing that, you still chose to gather the balls? <laughs> Very well, then. If you have no fear of the unknown, I shall be your opponent. Let us wager all of the occult balls, but the one who gets their hands on them can find themselves in quite an unfortunate situation. Alright. Take her out. Punch, punch, hit, go, bang! You can grab her again. But then again, that might be more fun. And that Where are you jumping? <laughs> She's just standing there. Menacingly. Woo! Why is it playing the Sense theme? Is it? I don't know. It doesn't really play the proper themes in the story mode. I don't understand why. What is she doing? I'm gonna punch her. That works. Sort of. So, uh, yeah. Her urban legend is... The... She has the red... Why are you blocking, damn it? There we go. Oh, you have a command grab. It's a spell card! No, I'm talking about your, your grab, your anti-air grab. It's a spell card! She blocked it, by the way. Well. 
Oh, you can still grab the inner. Okay. Ow. Her, her, her urban legend is based on the story of red paper and blue paper, where you're alone at a stall and some voice will ask you if you want red paper or blue paper. I love this one. And if you say red paper, uh, mm, I think you bleed to death. And if you say blue paper, you're you, asphyxiated. Yeah. And then you're supposed to say well, the yellow paper or something, but I guess yellow paper. Yellow paper just gets your ass killed? I don't really know how it works or how to beat it. Wouldn't you want white paper? Because that, that's what colored toilet paper is. Let's see here, she's gonna shoot the ying yeah. She's gonna shoot the orb and it's gonna shoot red and blues. Akamam kills urban legend. What am I doing here? Red, blue, yellow. Yellow paper used to be a solution. Used to be? You mean he <laughs> adapted? <laughs> oh, I need to be near her. Asphyxiated in a good or bad way? I don't really think there's a good way, so I'm gonna say bad. What do you mean in a good way? You're getting choked until you're fucking blue. There's nothing good about it. Ow. The urban legend updated? I can't believe this. Yeah, what the fuck? Tell me urban legends get patch notes? They get buffed. That's a That's a Brazilian spirit. He figured it out. You need to get the fuck down here so I can hit you. Kind of seems like cheating. So what? So what's the new solution? You can offer the two toilet papers, grab your phone, and ask the internet to explore it all. <laughs> God damn it! I'll just ask Google when it happens to me. <laughs> or you just leave the stall and don't get any paper. Why even respond to her? Exactly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that doesn't hit. That hits everything, but nothing at the same time. It's like Virgil's from Ultimate Marvel. Hits the whole screen, but it does kind of home in on you. Why don't you just ignore it? I mean, it can't do anything, I guess. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I can't say I've ever been in a situation where a strange voice asked me what color paper I want. No. If someone in the other stall is trying to talk to me, I ain't interacting with them. Red cape, blue cape. Oh, here we go. So yeah, now she gets real fucking big. This is hilarious to me. <laughs> Ow! I'm dead again. I'll show you just that pose again. In some accounts, rejecting both options and running away from Akamanto will also result in their individual survival, although sometimes Akamanto will simply block the exit. Oh, so it's an urban legend with RNG, too. Well, if he blocks the exit, just go under the stall. Come on, modern problems, think... modern solutions. <laughs> Ow! the exit to the bathroom. Jesus. That was... whatever. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna punch the shit out of her. Oh! Don't die again. Remember we were gonna increase the difficulty? I thought long and hard about it. She's just punching straight forward. That looked pretty sick. Too bad you can't see through all the effects. That was it. Oh, shit. The final boss. She didn't go to the outside world. No. Nope. Oh, right. okay. Propaganda. I didn't realize that was the last uh, last bite. All right. Good Chat job, was, Ichiden. You're Chat the best. was saying that Sumeraco's theme always plays during the final fight. Oh, that's that would explain it. All right, here, fire. Yeah. Get the balls. I don't even know what happened. She got all the balls, she lost consciousness, and ended up fading into the uh, outside world. Skyscrapers. And then... She said just assumed it was a dream, and then she got kicked out. So yeah, she got all the balls and had a bit of a... Her, her entire story was just, oh, she had a dream of the outside world. But her spirit went out there, kind of like how Sumirakos gets in against Sokyo itself. Well, there she is. She's flying with her elbow out. Can I? Oh, I can. I didn't know that. All right. Skip. I didn't even. I don't even try the last three times. Weird. All right, you're up. Yeah. Hopeless Masquerade had some real issues with its boss designs. Yeah. Just because, uh, like every sing no matter what you did, every boss would end with fucking Mamizo and a Kokoro. But this time it's different. Not right. everyone's going out there. You got a silver trophy for that. Because I beat it really fast. I'm very good. What, but you got... Those are bronze. Those are bronze? Yeah. Okay. Well, 
the Rider Monk. He did he be a gooding. The occult balls were surrounded by both idle curiosity and deep secrets. Fearing this, she determined that Gensokyo, currently scrambling for the balls, would inevitably fall into nightmare. Right now, there is someone trying to gather all the balls. She couldn't trust that person. So I've got... I've got Master of the Great That, uh, Brilliance of That, and Five Element Mountain of That. Pick the one I could read, I guess. What, which one is that? The Shakyao Muni. I can't, I don't know what the Trachilio calls them and Mahava Gokana. I don't know what that shit is. I don't know what any of that shit is. Yeah, works for me. I picked the one that had the highest power. Alright, so Chad, as you may have noticed on Byakuden, she has a bit of jiggle physics to her. Yeah, she had that last game too. Yeah, but look at her, look at her art and then look at her model and something doesn't really line up. No, it doesn't. Still has her good hair though. Say, Ichiden, I've also obtained an interesting power. And that means you're finally going to use one of those urban legends as well? <laughs> it's the strongest and fastest urban legend of them all. She has fucking keys. She oh my <laughs> god, she has bike keys. Byakura and his speed. Mind if I join the ride? Ha! It's funny because motorcycle. Chat, how do you how do you use the urban legend? I want to, oh, I want to use this one. So yeah, she just basically like each and I guess Stop she hits really hard. Me. Yeah, the sprites didn't really change from the last game, but the character art did. I mean, Mommy's always a pretty good example of that. Fucking flat as a board in her art. It's gonna jump around, and swing. I have glowy things, but I don't know what they do. Oh, yeah. I can use them to clap. Damn, that's an effective clap. <laughs> Hit her with the boy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to use the urban legend. I'm assuming that we can't do it in story mode. Can do that too. She also has the teleport. I forgot about that. Her dash and teleport. Ow. All right. Oh god, it started behind her. Well, that didn't work. Uh. This is like her only health bar. I'm gonna die. Mamizo is not a character who's supposed to have Yo. a flat chest, and I'm saying that based strictly on her height. So I don't know what's happening with that, but whatever. It's official, right? That's official art. Not much you can do about it. <laughs> Magical. I see. So this is the rumor to cult ball. Look, I'm just saying that height is usually proportionate to the chest size in this series, so it's weird when you see one that breaks the mold. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Gathering seven of them will make you attain enlightenment, they said. Really now? This one's a troublesome artifact. Easy occult ball gathering. How fortunate for me that thou showed thyself now. Let us wager our balls and fight. Yes. <laughs> Strange last word. Press C and D when holding four balls or more, or L2 on PS4. I don't know what it means to be holding balls in this. I don't think you can do that in story mode. So I, I don't think that's going to happen. Yes, yes, I'll take you on. It seems I won't understand anything without gathering them fall first, after all. Does thou think thou will get the best of me? Gaze upon mine occult and tremble in fear. Think of it Gosh. like this, chat. Mommy's those... Mommy Zoe's proportions can be whatever you want them to be because she's capable of transforming her body. Remember that. She has, uh... She does that in Forbidden Scrollery. She literally shapeshifts and changes her her, 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 well, her looks. I mean, she doesn't do a great job. She still looks like Mommy Zoe, but she changes it enough that she passes as a human. So it can be whatever you want. And there you go. Now everyone's happy. Watch me become speed. Top of the screen. Oh! That's shit up there. So when you have four of them, you press C and D together. What is C and D? Uh, fuck if I know. I How did- why did Automod- wow, Automod is great. <laughs> what did Automod catch this? Time? It caught the combination of the word waifu and she. Why? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Alright, I want more glowy. I'm speed. Shit. So you need four of those balls up top, and then you can press C and D. Maybe you should pause and check your, uh... You can check what's... I, I that's probably... Pause, pause, right? Yeah, well, the, the game's ending now, so... I know. Boom! 
big bell. It sways back and forth. I'll be taking this then. At the, at the rate I'm going, gathering the balls themselves should be easy enough. Sniff. I'm fearing, I feared bringing one less plate will have its comeuppance. Why did you pick such a tragic occult in the first place? Because it's old. Plate. Hi, Whoa, Natori. there she is. The backpack wonder. <laughs> With the propeller that's not connected to anything. And the strap that looks like it should just get immediately sliced off. She's also incredibly small. You came just at the right time. We're stocking up on the cult balls today. Natori Kawashiro. As I thought, the urban legends even reached all the way to the Kappa Society. Hey, hey, hey. Don't underestimate us. I like this pose. You know that cat in a hat picture with the baseball bat? That's what she's doing right now with the crowbar. It's a good picture. No way we're gonna rely on urban legends originating from such baseless rumors. We've created a machine based on an urban legend. Now nobody can deny the power of this thing. Um, then that's just a weapon. I'll say it once more. Today we're stocking up on a cold balls. Cool. So, Notori's urban legend. I'll oh, pause first. Oh. So let's see. Go to your yeah. Uh, C and D. Chat. What's what's C and D? There's C. There's Z, X, C, A, and S. Is it special and spell at the same time? Which button is that? Special and spell. That would be R and R and B at the same time. R and B. I guess try that when you can. All right. Okay. Back to game, back to game. Alright, so, Notori's urban legend is... Well, if you... I'm sure you can figure it uh, out. Yeah, I, I think I can figure it out. Her urban legend is the Loch Ness Monster. Now, the funny thing is, is this is actually artificial. This is an artificial urban legend. She doesn't actually possess an occult ball herself. This is made with Kappa technology. Nice. So, yeah. She's part of the urban legend incident with uh, a false urban legend, which is kind of hilarious. But she picked a good one. A good one for a Kappa. And now you get to beat her ass. You have three balls right now, by the way. I see. Holograms? I wouldn't oh, Normally I'd say holograms don't do that, but then I immediately thought of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm willing to agree that holograms do do that. <laughs> get your ass beat by a Nessie hologram and you feel it. This might be her only attack. Like, I, I don't- I'm not sure though. I gotta, I gotta beat her with a clap. I gotta clap her. This is very easy to get through, by the way. For some reason, whenever you collect the occult balls, they eventually make their way back to, uh... They make their way back to the original person that had them in the first place. That's why every single time you see someone gather them all, by the next story, nobody has them all again. So they have to keep constantly doing it. It's confusing. You can also try A and B for unique specials if you have one ball. A and B. A and B should be, uh... A and X. Okay. And you can try it here. <gasps> yep, yeah, there there's is. the bike! Wish I knew that. You can't see it, but there is a bell there. There it is. I thought you wouldn't have had an occult ball, and yet here we are. Huh? A ball came out of me too? And she is covered in dust. So it's true that even those who possess it can't fully control them. I realized from the moment I've held on to this ball. By the way, she looks like she's doing the red pose. Cap over her face. A little bit. That this is the beginning of a nightmare. Do those use balls or you just need a certain amount of them? Yeah, oh, well, there's, uh, there's Moko finally. <laughs> who goes there? Fujiwara no Moko. Wait, aren't you from the Myoden Temple? What, what's your business here? I felt the strong aura coming from you that's similar to these balls, so I came here to check. You too, huh? Too? It's been pissing me off lately. People can't keep coming here asking me to hand over the ball. But seriously, what ball? I told them I don't have any, but it was useless. You don't have one? But that occult aura is definitely... What is the occult aura you're talking about? Spare me those alien terms. Hmm, let's see. In the first place, do you have any interest in the rumors spreading among the humans? I've long stopped concerning myself with the matters of this fleeting world. So you don't know about the urban legends? Urban legends? What's that? I see. I'm amazed you managed to stay so clueless of the happenings around you. 
Still, I am certain that I sense the presence of an occult ball from you. It seems that there are certain occasions where it attaches itself to people without them realizing. Interesting bit about her, uh, her outfit is you can see, for whatever reason, they made her shirt color like this really dull pink. But then you can see directly behind the art that her shirt is white. Same with her, her, uh, her bow too. There's so much shading on it, like it's charred, which kind of makes sense considering what's you know the rest of her outfit. But it's, I just think that's a bit of an interesting contrast. I kind of like the I like the sprite coloration more than the the art coloration. Well, never mind that. In the end, you want to wager that ball through a fight, right? That's how it was with people that came before you. It's not like I'll die ever die anyway, so no need to hold back. So my favorite part about Moko's outfit is you know how in in Toa 8 she has a, she's wearing a long sleeve shirt. Yeah. Well in this game, she's burned the sleeves off of her shirt, but the cuffs are still attached to her wrist, so there's just nothing right, so there. R and B. Are you this guy? Turbo! Yeah, turbo! Ready! He died. <laughs> I did it. I saved the world. Flame sign, Phoenix Super High Temperature Feathers. They sure are. Yeah, so yeah. Byakuden's Urban Legend chat is called Turbo Granny. And it's the urban legend that one time these people were driving across the uh, a highway and they looked out the window and there was an old woman who was running on foot, <laughs> keeping up with their car on a highway. That's the urban legend. That's it. There's, I have nothing else to tell you but that. And Zun took that as an opportunity to put Byakuden on a bike and a tight leather suit. So there you go. Sometimes, sometimes Zun lets the horny take over, I suppose. Mob Psycho has the best version of it? No, this this game has the best version of it. <laughs> That's a sick motorcycle. I don't know why I did that. Do I keep it? I do keep it. Fine weather, clear sky, kick. Moko kick! Ow. That's a cool fucking kick. Whoosh! Oh, alright, alright. I'm learning. I'm learning, chat. Yeah, so, here's here's Moko's urban legend. Moko doesn't understand she has an urban legend because her urban legend is spontaneous combustion. I don't know how to collect the thing. You have to be near her when she's charging. Oh. Spontaneous combustion is, you know, Spontaneous combustion. The idea that you'll just fucking Explode. spontaneously combust. So because of the how Moko, you know, because of how Moko is, that's just kind of par for the course for her. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> Eat your heart out, Unzan. That's just kind of par for the course for her. So she doesn't really realize that she has an urban legend at all. She just assumes that, uh, yeah, that, that's what she does. She just, she Ow. just catches on fire every now and again and fucking explodes. But she'll never notice because she's immortal. So she'll always come back from it. It's very fitting for her. It, is. it also affects her playstyle. When you do her special moves and stuff, she takes uh, like white health. So she takes uh, health. She takes damage that doesn't actually count as necessarily damage. That can kind of be recuperated by attacking, huh. but not attacking. Say, but when, like uh, of, like Shadow Mew to when, when she attacks, when she attacks, she takes she damages herself with white damage. But you can use uh, her re re her resurrection attack to well attack. But you can use resurrection oh. to restore the HP bar to blue. That's how it works. It's weird. Come here, Mira, Shadow Mewtwo, the blood guy from fucking what's it called? You've got it, okay. Yeah, characters that basically use health to attack. You've gotten quite a lot of these balls. Ah, yes, you got them after defeating your challengers. Ooh, phew. Feels like some burden got off my shoulders. I give you my thanks. The fact that it can manifest without the person's knowledge. Now I'm completely certain this is nothing but a bad omen. It's a wonder that people can enjoy this as a simple competition for balls. And Moko is veiled. Hi, Miko. And here's Miko. I figured that you'll be my last opponent. Well, that should explain where we are in the story. Yep. I heard that you're also gathering these balls. What is your goal? Asking questions right off the bat. Well, it matters not. Do you think I'm gathering these balls out of an obsession? Over some petty rumors. Of course I don't. That's what makes me worried. 
After all, these balls are formed from Isle Curiosity and Deep Secrets. That Cur sounds like a written works title. Curiosities and Deep Secrets. Some very typical of you to see it like that. Well, one of them is called Curiosities. Well, yeah, that's, what, that's probably why. Idle Curiosity and Deep Secrets. This is an artificial fort for, uh, this is an artifact from the outside world. There must be someone outside who's planning to use them for some purpose here in Gensokyo. Chad, how do you think Miko gets her hair to do that? Do what? What do you mean, do what? Look at the what? giant puffs in the back of her head. What? She's got headphones on. Headphones don't make her hair shoot up like that. Chat, whose hair is stranger? Byakuden's hair or Miko's hair? If the person, if that person holds curiosity towards Gensokyo, then nothing good will come from it. Byakuden's by virtue of it being natural. They're both natural. The outside world, is it? Now I understand why there's so many unknown things regarding its true nature. That's why I decided to set out and gather them myself, so I could study them. Well, that's my answer. How about yours? What's your reason for gathering these balls? As for me, I'm gathering them all to steal to seal them, so these urban legends won't be used for evil. Seal them? Oh yeah, putting a lid over anything you deem rotten is what you folks specialize in. I mean, that's what they did to her. That's what they tried to do to her. Don't make me laugh. These urban legends spread themselves naturally through rumors. You can't put a lock on people's mouths, can you? Anyway, it seems like there's no way to get that occult balls without a fight. Also, through this fight, we can decide which ideology is right, yours or mine. Wasn't that the plot of the last game? Yes. <laughs> it can't be helped. You are, after all, two eyes for your own good. I can't let such a person wield these power of nightmares. Every time these two fight, it's a to bring their ideologies into it. Alright, I need... Yeah, Byakuden's hair color is, suppo what the is supposedly I natural, and I guess Miko's hair tufts are also natural. It's like, which one is stranger? It's confusing. I have a dive kick book, but I don't know I don't know how to do anything. I thought Miko was a cat girl when I first saw her or something like that. Not a bad th not a bad thing to think she is, well, honestly. I'm bodied right now. I can understand that. Uh Alright, I know how to make I'm not a really sure here. where the owl bit came from, but I think it's funny when I see her as an owl. Don't call it a comeback. Woo! Yeah. She's bailed. She goes full queen. Whoosh whoosh whoosh! And here's the capes. Alright, I want my glowies. That means we missed, uh, we missed Kassen, Marissa, and Ichiden's Ow. super moves. I'll keep that in mind. I'll run back and review them real quick, I suppose, since yeah. we're gonna try and do them every game, uh, match anyway. Just have to use them on a, a, a not spell card. Easy enough. Kaboom, kabam. Oh, Jesus, that's coming back. Nico's an owl and Futo is a dove? What was Tojiko? I, I don't know why. I don't really understand why. But like when I look at when I look at Miko, I don't really see an owl. But then when I see owl Miko, I'm like, oh I get it. Like it just <laughs> it just makes sense, you know? Mommy's those specials. Doesn't she do that in 15.5? Or I guess she did that in this game first, huh? All my glowies. Right, Mamizo turns characters into animals. She turns Yukari into an axolotl. Nice. And Doremi turns into a giant of dream abomination. Ow. We'll have to see those too, chat. We'll have to see Mamizo's character transformations. <laughs> I don't know how to do this one. Uh, you wait in it and then you dash out of it. Oh, no, you have to wait by her and you... You have to be by Miko to knock it out. I don't know why you're dashing away from her. It hit me. Just stay inside her when she's charging it. Mm. I don't remember. I don't remember like any half of them. I only know. Uh, I only know uh, Yukari's because she changes to an axolotl because of the uh, how axolotls work. I had. I heard the explanation for it like once, maybe a year or two ago, and I can't even hope to tell you what it is now. Well, this is the last fight, so you're gonna have to haul ass here. Hey, Plutonium, for gifting the sub. How did you do 1% to it before? I don't know. That's weird. Whoosh! I don't know where that big hand comes from. Maybe it has got a brother. 
Like, I guess the idea is that an axolotl, when it grows up or whatever, constantly stays in a strange in-between form of, like, uh, you know, when it comes out, when it's hatched, and, like, I don't know, it's hard, I don't know how to explain it properly, but it's the idea of how an axolotl's, like, biology works that it's compared to Yukari because of how she's tied to borders and stuff. There's definitely something about it, but I can't, I, I can't for the life of me give you a good explanation, so, sorry. It's because they've been genetically the same for an insane amount of time, if I recall. Something like that? I don't- I don't know for sure. Axolotls are strange creatures, to say the least. Did you know the reaction time is, like, unbelievably bad? Oh. Axolotls react like they're playing, uh, they're playing Wi-Fi with ridiculous ping. Like, I saw a, gif of, uh, a video before of Axolotl had, like, a little piece of food fall on top of it, and it fell to the floor, and then, like, three or four seconds later, the Axolotl bobbed its head up to, like, grab the food, but there wasn't food in there anymore. They're- yeah, they're like slow pokes. Slow maybe Slowpoke. Maybe Slowpoke's not based on an axolotl, is it? No, I don't think so. What is it based on then? I don't know. Because the reaction time makes sense, but axolotl. Mudkip's the axolotl Pokemon. Is it? Oh, yeah. That's what uh, that's what Mudkip's based off of. Wooper. Wooper's also an axolotl, yeah. But what about Slowpoke? What is Slowpoke based on? Propaganda. That's not what Slowpoke's based off of. <laughs> Slowpoke is propaganda, though. <laughs> Slowpoke, Slowpoke might be immune to propaganda. Water's law? So you, Biakadin gets the balls, beats up Miko, confirms Buddhism is the best. Just put it in the back of Buddha. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, she's trying. She's gonna try and seal the balls away, but you probably already know how this one's gonna go, chat. The balls are gonna manifest back into the the respective owners anyway, and Biakadin's work is gonna be all for naught. And then Biakadin is gonna give up. Or she's just gonna ride her bike into the sunset. And the statue's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the moment they took their eyes off it. This is the work of the devil. <laughs> it's gone into Buddha's world. <laughs> Shit's gone, yo. Well... The moral of the story is you tried your best, but yeah, you can't can't beat that. And then the the ball was back in her possession, and the cycle continues anew. There we go. Slowpoke is supposed to be a cross between a salamander and a hippo. That makes huh. sense on the salamander bit because of the whole tail. <laughs> she's oh, she's just riding the, the bike through the sky. She's on the fucking bike. I told I told you. <laughs> the tails grow back. The slowpoke tails. They cost as much as a bike in Kanto. Alright, chat. My turn. Oh, okay. Alright, chat. Before we continue, let me just, uh... Let me go do the... Let me go do the... The, the, the urban legends. Practice. Well, there's everybody. Everyone. Everyone's there except Everyone's Sumireko. So, do we guess... want to do rainbows as well? Oh, here's all the colors too. Uh, Racins are all based off the Vocaloids, right? Yep. Yeah. But Racins not in the game, unfortunately. This is a uh, PCB, Marissa. Minus the, uh, you know, redhead. You mean PC98? Yeah, I said PCB, didn't I? Yes. Whoops. Where's Raymo? We got Raymo. Uh, that looks. Is that? No, that's not a plot, right? That's I Bima. Just... <laughs> Oh, Blue Reimu. White Reimu has actually concealed the conclusion, apparently. Hmm. Apparently this all comes from uh, that, that game being so popular that it managed to get in there like that. Memer. Pick Memer. Alright. Uh, so let's see. Alright. So, let me see. Piano. <laughs> Portrait Ghost. The statue man. Basketball. Hoops, baby, hoops! <laughs> <laughs> it's a cycle like that. Uh, he ballin'! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so it was uh, B and R. Yeah. Miss Hanako, yeah. Whee! Into the drink! He really just locks you on the stall, and that's it. 
All right, there's I hers. I do remember I have looked up. I did look up a video of all these a while ago, a long while ago. Turn to character select. All right, so then we have uh, Kassen's. Haven't seen Rainbow's yet because Rainbow's story is a little different. Mm -hmm. Kassen's alt. Uh, she's gotta have a Sika, all right. That looks like Madoka. Some of the shit reminds me of Madoka. <laughs> Chat. No Sika. A Chun Li. Might be. I know what? I wouldn't put it past. I don't him. see Suika or Yugi. That's a shame. Hmm. I don't know. You know a lot of these gotta be references, but I couldn't. I can't place them all. We'll go Chun Li. Hot beacon. And uh. Who do you want to hit? Uh, who do I want to hit? Well, she's locked. So. <laughs> Hit the one that doesn't care about being hit, aka the one you don't want to hit. Go Ichiden. Ichiden has... I like that color scheme on her a lot, actually. Yeah, that's nice. I like the red hood. Little red hood? That's from Index. That is 100% from Index. She's an Oku ult. Uh, looks like it anyway. Yeah, the brooch is red. That's definitely Oku. Uh, I don't recognize these ones, though. But yeah, this one's from a certain magical Index. <laughs> Let's go with, uh, Ocean Skyscraper. Alright, so what do you got? Monkey. It's the monkey's paw. It's just a It really does, just, like, her hand actually, like, disappears from her model when you do that. Alright, let's see. And... Monkey paw, crush my enemies! It's just holding a monkey's paw. Ooh. Just crush. Crunchy. Yeah, if you do the monkey paw attack, she actually loses her hand. Well, she doesn't really lose her hand. Her hand doesn't exist anyway. It's bandage wrapped over spirit power. Oh, uh, yeah, spirit power. I mean, just... Whatever. <laughs> and each hey, then. Each then, let's go with Futo. Futo has a... Uh, don't recognize it. This has to be a reference to something because she has thigh highs. <laughs> like, there's no reason they would give her socks if it wasn't a reference to something. Uh, the one below it too. Can't place that. Can't place that. Well, I got nothing, chat. I got nothing for these. They gave her socks, though. We didn't do Futo's story yet, did we? No, we haven't. Okay, I didn't think so. Where is... I think we've been everywhere now. Alright. So that's her urban legend. This is the two chance equivalent to uh, Slender Man. She's, she's, she's really fucking tall, lanky, like a little Man. gross. I think it's a counter. Like Slender Man. I think it's a counter. Can you set her to attack? Well. Uh, I don't know how. Special gaze, start placement. Not that it matters. Reset? Oh, two player. Okay. What? Two oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. What? I don't have any orbs. Give my orbs back. I'm gonna reset. Hit it! Hit it! Stop! Stop doing that! I don't think it's a counter. She definitely would have hit it there. She's using a spell card. Futo, you gotta fuck off. Hit it! The Are you sure it's a counter? Why does she keep spell carding? What else could it be, right? Oh, well, I hit her there. Well, wow, that didn't do shit. Wait, I feel, I look different. Yeah, you definitely look different. Whatever. Yeah, you got pale. Whatever, just don't move. All right. The 265 centimeter fiend appears and she's gone. It's gotta be at the edges. Ichiran summons Hashaku Sama, which creates a dark circle around it. There you go. Scary! At 
the opponent is launched into the border of the circle, they will suffer damage. Can be used to possibly extend combos. That's a weird one. Anyway, that's all for that for now, so let's continue on with the story. Next is uh, who we were just beating up anyway. Mononobe no Futo. Futo's next. So Sukuna, Moko, and, and Notori all unlocked down there. Okay. Still don't have Koichi. The struggle of the occult balls is deeply intertwined with the use of urban legends. She, who had been uninterested in current events, was delighted to discover the legend of Okiku-san, which matched her perfectly. But the curse of Okiku-san was surprisingly strong. Over time, she also found herself seeking the 10th plate. Uh... These are weak. This- oh. Well, Tyree Fire isn't weak, because it's Tyree Fire. I light shit on fire. Let's start around here, then. I beseech thee! I came to steal the occult ball. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Ichirin Kumoi and Unzan. You've got some guts challenging me. I attacked because it looked like it would be easy to steal here. A good place for a warm-up. Well, alright then, little one. Let's see. Throw plate. Oh, oh knuckle are you blast! Sure about that? She spins. Oh, dragon boat! Like the boat. You have one orb. You can use your A and X move. Plate. 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 What's the plate do? Plate. <laughs> plate. 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 What? It doesn't do anything, chat. <laughs> It doesn't do anything. You gotta break more plates. Oh, I have to. What? How do I break plates? I don't know, man. Throw plates. I like throwing boats. <laughs> um. You guys are throwing plates. See, look, you've broken a ton of plates, plates. now. Oh, well, Miko's gonna kill me. Do, do I do it? There you go, you got them all broken. Uh. There we go. What happened? It, it jumped out. Oh, I think I powered up. The spirit definitely jumped up. I'm on a boat! I, I don't really know what happened, but I... I don't how everyone don't get how Fudo works makes me laugh every time. I don't Woo! understand I threw plates and then I presented a plate. That was simple. I'm taking the occult ball. Crap. Unless there's someone so behind the times like her. Who couldn't thou be talking about? Is not Okiku-san the pinnacle of high culture? Oh, Futo. The crown prince should be going after the strong looking people, so... Who should I take a ball from next? Reimu, apparently. Oh, that's not very <laughs> strong. <laughs> oh, if it isn't Reimu. The timing is impeccable. Shall we wager our occult balls and fight? Ah, uh, sure. Since I'm looking into the occult balls right now. Well, oh, that was I'm easy. We, I'm glad we got straight to the point. Plate! I don't... I'm just gonna get on the boat. Get on the boat. Come here, no. Fruto's words are not sophisticated. They're just 500 years old. That makes them sophisticated. They're, They're sophisticated. old. Woo! Forgot about that move. Sophisticated. We well, yeah, touched on it a little bit, but I know Rayson is uh, only in the PS4 version, and apparently her story uh, connects straight into Anatomy of Common Flowers. I think it is. Uh, her story is kind of weird because it's like since you can't play it unless you have the PS4 version, it's not exactly the most important thing in the world. I mean, fair. Rayson becomes a character you can just play as in 15.5, though. Her urban legend is also fitting for her character as well. Want to talk about it? Since we're never gonna get another chance, basically. We'll get a chance next game. But her urban legend is based on—I forget what they're called—but they're like the little things you see in the corner of your eye that you can't perceive. The little, they're like little white wiggly worms. No, they're like little white wiggly worms you see in the corner of your eye, and you try to track them down in your sight, and you never see them. And if you do manage to see one, they drive you insane. Some shit like that. Cool. Ha ha ha. When she sits on a plate, she becomes Mononobe no Fudo. Huzzah! I have obtained a new ball. Couldst thou have been going easy on me? Uh, of course not. More importantly, do you want to know who has all the remaining balls? Oh, why wouldst thou tell me something like that? It's 
seems like it'd be better for me to keep an eye on the balls rather than gather them myself. Oh, Raymo, you're lazy. Ah, yes. One pyromaniac to another. Looks like we have another lost child today. Wow. Muku. Who are you? Human Inferno. I beseech thee. Let us, let's wager our balls and fight. <sighs> What's it? This is about the occult balls again. Lately, lots of people have been telling me to hand them over. Of course, I beat them all at their own game. You must be insane to challenge an immortal. Oh, -ho! so might thou be an immortal as well? What? Don't tell me you're also. I am a person who has experienced death once before. <laughs> oh, that's a shocker. How interesting. I accept your challenge. Let's have a match to see which of us dies first. Uh, no, just betting the occult balls is fine, thanks. It's always gonna be high stakes for this black oak. <laughs> I mean, what what are high stakes to Moko if death is not among them? There are none. That's the thing. That's why every fight is just a bite to the death. Woo! I like this. I like this move. The one where you ride a boat. No, that oh, move. Whoa! I just got bitch slapped <laughs> off it. I like how Moko's got some like Gogeta moves going on, where she just kicks you with her hands in her pockets. She's confident. I'll give her that. I don't know what just happened, but I was charging for a long time. She's throwing feathers at you. Race Let me just mention is Kune Kune, which means wiggly, and it's like a wacky inflatable arm flailing tube man, but creepy. Take my plates! My plates! My plates! The papers on Moko's pants are, tal are like flame-proof talismans. Yeah. They prevent her clothes from just combusting. That's why her. That's why her sleeves are the way they are. Because she she's constantly on fire. So those talismans protect her clothes from constantly burning. I also assume that's what her ribbon is as well. Her ribbon and is her, one great yeah, talisman. It's also what she's tied her hair up at the end. I don't think her hair really catches on fire though, but obviously her clothes are a little different. I mean, if she lost her hair, I imagine she has all the- Whoa. She literally has all the time in the world to grow it back, but you don't want to lose your clothes just out of nowhere. I want to do, uh... Yeah! I know you had another one. Yeah, it's super kick. The kick is so cool! I'm here! You're not gonna like tiny fire! Whoosh! Well, corner you carry. Really carried her from one corner <laughs> to the other, huh? Tiny fire is probably Futo's most well known spell card at this point. I say that because it's in this game and it's in fucking Genso Wander, too. I recognize it at this point. My most recognized Futo card. However, the boat is pretty cool. The boat is. The boat is a boat, you know? Oh, I but pushed into it when I kicked her. <laughs> yeah. I think it's sad, but a lot of the older fighting game characters aren't in the future ones. That's not true. Some of them come back. That was the whole point of 15.5. The only new character to show up in the game, besides Jun and uh, Shion, was uh, Adora Me. Because Toa 15 was the only one that really came out at the time. <laughs> I want some knives. So they brought back, uh, they brought back Tenshi and they brought back Yukari. Uh, I want, I want didn't some bring knives. back Suika though. Huzzah! I've gotten more balls! Wait, that were holding this many? Ah, that's because I kept defeating the people who challenged me. It's kind of refreshing to get rid of them all. That was simple. With this, I have six. Raymu said there were four people left though. If two of them aren't Dao and myself, that leaveth another two. But one of them is the Crown Prince, so. Just decided then. Excuse me, I'll be going soon. Up to your next opponent then. Her bow like prepared itself. Be careful though. This is the bamboo forest of the lost. Even if you fly into the sky, it's not that easy to get out. Looks like her entire body repaired itself. She's not damaged at all. Ugh. My apologies for earlier. Couldst thou please guide me? And that's Moko's job. Last child. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Final ball is held by. I beseech thee. Let us wager our balls and fight. Give me like Kokoro vibes, she's just challenging people for the title of the strongest. Oh my, so you're offering alms? Biyaku didn't heed you. This is the first time I'm actually fighting against her. Yeah, well, second time, I think. No, you played, you played as her. Well, yeah, but 
Did we did fight we, against you before? I think we fought. Did we? Okay, I can't remember. I don't think we did. To think you'd come here with the balls. That saves me some time. So how about it? Orbs this flawless surely possess the virtue. As a gift to the temple, they'd be. Wait, of course I'm not giving them to thee. <laughs> I'm here to steal the ball that thou possessed. Oh, that must be tiresome then. But for me of all people? Surely there are others it would be easier to steal from. I'd prefer not to fight thee myself, but I have no choice. The only other person who has any is the crown prince. Ah, so you're saying it'd be I'd be easier than her? So, why do, you, why do you want to gather the balls anyway? Huh? Because they say that once thou gatherest seven, thine wish will be granted. Mine's heart desire will. No, never mind. I mustn't count my chickens before they hatch. Very well. Will gathering seven really grant wishes or not? I'll take your ball and test it out myself. Of course, I'm absolutely sure that nothing of the sort will occur. So I can tell when the last one because the music, which Moko means... Moko is not Bayonetta. Ew. What an awful comparison. Alright, watch this. Sook! Sook! Wiggle wiggle! Into the well. There she is, my plate ghost girl! And she's Bayog. Supersonic speed, old lady sprint. Yeah, no, yeah, we, we haven't seen this. No. <laughs> Amazing that we played as her before we fought her. Oh shit! I guess that again though. We played as uh. Yeah, I guess both of the uh. The, Mu the Muirin Temple has come Ow. before the uh. Mausoleum people. So. By a whole game. Fought, yeah. God damn it, I keep trying to jump away from her. Oh! Boat! Where does she keep that boat? Probably uh, in her hat. Air turn. <laughs> oh, you wanna? Okay, this. Yeah. All right then. No, I, I, I'm almost because I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get this. <gasps> oh, she had to, she had to drift. <laughs> <laughs> boat versus bike. God damn it! All right, hit her up with fire. Tried. <laughs> yeah, can you, can you imagine if this is what Wario's bike could do? Initial D, baby! I want to crash into her at the side of the screen. <laughs> it worked! Whoosh! That works. Needed. She's still got one more, though. Turbo Granny ride for her <laughs> life! <laughs> Oh god, she's in the background. Now she's in the foreground. Oh, that's perfect oh, for a god. thumbnail. <laughs> what am I doing? That's a good question, Mega Man. What are you doing? <laughs> well, trading with her probably isn't the smartest choice. There's a ball behind her. Oh, Bro, I'm roadkill! I'm supposed to jump over her. You know, this isn't a fucking action movie. <laughs> what the fuck? Gotta step on the gas. There you go. Okay, yeah, it goes down by half, so. I... Ow! What the fuck did that come from? Ow! <laughs> I don't think you can graze her because she is not a projectile. She's just a turbo granny. Ah! Hit me in the feet and I spin. Oh! oh. Beep beep. <laughs> Blindsided. I'm coming back. They're static, so yeah, just don't don't stand in the middle. <laughs> Dylan, <laughs> Dylan, I wasn't in the middle. Oh, you broke it, so uh, lighter on fire, I guess. Oh, you hit her out. No, that wasn't part of the plan. Last well, shit. Not according to Kate Hopper.
boy. Let's see you jump over a fucking motorcycle. She is literally driving circles around you. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> Back up in the middle. You know what? That might be easier. Yeah, why didn't I think of going under the motorcycle? Genius! Gotcha. Boat! 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 Alright, I'm gonna win in style. Yeah. <laughs> One more hit! <laughs> One more! Shit. I had to block that thing. Are you about to see a double KO? Nope, you win. Futo's boat prevails! Well, that was foolish. Well, that extended the VOD length. Look, man, I couldn't hit her. She was <laughs> oh, too... that was it. Well, yeah, it's been playing Super Mario Kart thing the whole time. Bro, I don't even remember what her theme sounds like. Do 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 Like, you just do it the whole time. Here lies Miko's dojo. A dimension separate from Gensokyo. Oh, a cold She's ball. gathered all the Chaos Emeralds. And she's trying to summon Shenron. Miko's gonna hit her over the head with her Shaku. Yeah, good. You know, I just realized we were talking about Shenron the whole time and we didn't even pay attention to the fact that Kisen had a dragon. Well, yeah, but... It's not... She, she, she didn't have Shenron, you know. She it just has... green. It's close enough. She has a dragon. It's close enough. It her, was green. She has a dragon friend. Oh my god, look at her dash. <laughs> She's got her arms out. It's fucking roomy over here. She is an airplane. Hmm. Alright. Oh, that's a lot Ooh. of stories already. Yeah. Alright, you're up. Alright. Chad, this game looks good, and it, uh, it has good story. I don't know how it is as a competitive fighter, though. Again, I know the 12.3 is regarded as the best Toho fighter. Yeah, I wonder where most of that came from. In her wisdom, she had exposed the secret of the occult balls. While she still didn't know who had set the trap or what their goals were, she was sure it was necessary to deal with this immediately. Collecting only seven would not suffice. She fought to obtain every last one of them. Alright, here we go. Alright. I've got Taoist of the Land of the Rising Sun, Heavenly Way atop one palm, and Tradition of Just Rewards. We've done six stories so far, but one of them doesn't count, so let me see. There's one, I like two, the three, she's doing in this one. four, five, um, six, seven. There's eight stories left. Hmm. So. Weird. Hmm. How are we yeah. gonna. It, just, I just, just, let's just go, I suppose. Alright. Uh, yeah, I like this pose, so I'm gonna go with this one. I'm not really sure how to break this up, chat, because there's still. There's mommies, though. There's Notori, there's Koichi, I mean, there's Kokoro, there's Sukuna, there's Sumireko, and then there's one more after that. You could do one and then have the other one start off and do the rest. I think that would cut it in half. Yeah, I suppose we'll just do three hours on this. I, I don't know. We'll see. Huh? That wants me to hand over the Okok balls? Mononobe no Futo. But surely thou hast already plenty of thine own, Crown Prince. I've confirmed a new fact about the balls. Accordingly, I'm going to gather every last one of them. As you know, it's impossible to give them away on your own. So prepare yourself. I'm gonna play 12.3 mods with the added new fighters. They made new characters? What? No, First, I I'm here into this. I can teleport. Uh, if I actually knew how to play a fighting game, maybe. 12.3 is one I kind of just didn't bother with because there's only three stories that were very inconsequential. So I did the Cherno one on Cherno Day and that was it. I'm not very good at fighters, especially the Toho fighters. That much should be apparent from when I tried to play them. Alright, so Miko, you have one orb. Oh yeah, I guess I do, huh? She's probably just gonna throw her, yeah, throw her cape or something. I'll give it a shot. And... Your ass kicked. I just noticed the way her recharge works. That it goes to zero and it man charges and when it hits full, uh, the full again, they'll do their attack. Red oh, Mantle powerful I, strikes more. Okay, so you changed I, the... I didn't even really pick one. 
you I think it was the direction you sent her or were facing or you, whatever you were holding, but you I picked, wasn't holding any direction. I you picked uh I think you picked a power boost. Well that's what I would want anyway. But why was the red mm. mantle blue? <laughs> 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 Miko, oh. that's a very evil laugh. My nose is getting stuffy. So what's the new fact? It seems that there is someone scattering the balls periodically. But if there are too many left over before that happens, something bad will occur. I already know the great catfish appears in... The great catfish first appears in Mailing Story, but Mailing Story is just a fucking dream. And then Sanai's story is like uh, chasing around his Sotensuku. Like they're very inconsequential, and I know that the great catfish shows up again anyway. Don't worry. I know you're in possession of a ball. I say this for your sake. Just quietly hand it over. She's here! The mysterious red-blue mantle. You sound so unenthusiastic. If you want the balls, then you gotta be more urban legend-like. Oh, you certainly have a point. Would that please the creator of the balls as well? The red mantle or the blue mantle? Shout which one you want. Alright, I want both. Give me both. Is that how you escape? Do you I think it's both? how you double die. <laughs> Do it anyway. Those campaigns are gonna take a total of like 20 minutes each. And what? By the way, I, I, I did look up Sanai's story, and you were right about her sprite looking very weird. I told ya! Her, her art's hair, fine, but her sprite is just. Her hair is shorter in her sprite, and it's weird. Her sprite to me looks very, like, like squished. It's like, it just doesn't look like a human being. Like, if Sanai was in this game, her sprite would look great, because she would actually be, you know, humanoid, but it's kind of like some. It just looks weird, because it's like squished down, but the other characters are also squished down in a way that looks more natural, but Sanai just doesn't look correct. Ow. You have a... Uh... So this is gonna be a giant... It's probably gonna be a giant fireball or something, just for looking at the pose on the card. Ow. Whatever it is, it's gonna be cool. You might want to use it, though. I know. Blocking. Uh, How are you gonna break it? Uh, any, any day now. Any day now. Oh no, sword laser. Sokanto sword laser. Yeah, she has the Shaku and the Sokanto sword. Uh, the Shaku's pretty good against a wander. I found the sword, I've never used it though. Looks cool. Sanai uh, is a character I expected to be in the fighting games, to be honest with you, but... I'm really sad she isn't. None of the Moria Shrine group appear in any of these, for the most part. With both the Red Mantle and the Blue Mantle, I'm going to have to cover you with blood and then drain you of your blood, but... Well, for now, I'll just take the ball. We'll do this later when there's more time. Eek. Well, it's funny because it just feels like... I guess Mount, it's because Mountain of Faith came out at a very awkward in-between point for the fighting games. So like Komachi and Aya were in 10.5, and then Koishi's the only character to really get into 13.5 as well. And but like Natori came from Mountain of Faith, and she got in the game. So what happened there? Oku, Suiko, and Sanai were only in a were only in 12.3. Kanako. No. Kanako's not in 12.3. You want me to hand over my balls? I thought you were listing the, the shrine group and you said Oku. I said who was in 12.3. Okay. You think and I wouldn't know who Kanago is? No, I just thought you were listing the, the shrine group for a second and you did you said Oku and not Kanako and I was like, hold on, something ain't right. Indeed. Oh, Unfortunately, you. it seems we will have to fight in order to exchange them. Sure, I'll give you the balls, so. So, what? You know, I'm asking how much you're paying. Oh, you're talking about money? Very well, I'll pay the asking price. Pleasure doing business, but it looks like we'll have to fight to exchange them. I know, and let's get started. Damn, Miko, you paid you paid to kick her ass. Oh yes, this again. Like uh Biakrid and Miko, they're kind of a main point of 13's plot, so it makes sense they'd show up in some regard, right? But yeah, 11, 10 and 11 didn't really have much to do with 13 and 0.5 at all. So the only character who really got out of there was Koishi, who managed to get included in the plot in some regard. Which is great for Koishi fans, I suppose. But for Mountain of Faith, it was just, uh, just Notori. But Notori didn't really do anything in 13.5 is the thing. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure the reason Notori was added was because Notori was... Notori was on the list of characters they were looking to include in 12.3. Alongside Rumia and Kaguya, if you can believe it. So I love that one. have not been eating well. Fuck, I wish Rumia was in 12.3. That would have been great. But yeah, Notori was origin uh, originally on the list of characters to include on uh, in 12.3. But she ended up making it as a character later on anyway. But as you can see, she's not exactly the most relevant character to this story in any of the games she shows up in. She just has a chuckle. So it wasn't even that funny. Her sense of humor is changing. It's... Pleasure doing business. Now pay up. What a mi miser. Oh, miser. It's gonna come back to me soon enough anyway. I can't believe you actually pay money for it. It's the height of stupidity. I just realized she has shoulder pockets. Yeah, she got pockets everywhere, dude. Believers of, believers of this idolatry that wouldn't understand. The only thing with real value is speed! The quickness. Turbo but, I like how Natori over time went from sworn friend to the humans to sassy business lady. <laughs> Alright, stop. Forgot about her. <laughs> you there! You've got a lot of balls, right? <laughs> I was keeping an eye out for people who've gathered lots of balls. You. I must have overlooked you because you're so small. Because I'm small? Don't make fun of me. I may look like this, but I'm a proud member of the Inchling race. Oh, so you've inherited the blood of Sukuna Hikuna? Hikuna. What sort of What sort of urban legend would such a person use? I'll make sure you get a taste of that. This is the theme that plays before the final boss. As they say, smallness is strength. No one says that. I don't think they say that at all. You imply that I said something wrong, but I don't believe I did. Nico the Hedgehog. Well, remember, she was trained... Her, she learned Taoism from Sega, so it makes sense she would have affiliation with Sonic. <laughs> Sonic Speed. Oh god. That's a great attack. <laughs> Stop auto comboing. You're getting your ass kicked by an inchling. I'll let I'll you, let choose, you both. choose. I'll let you choose both. This is pretty much her thing we've seen a few times now. She's they are. Not as, uh, not as flashy, I suppose, as the other well, ones. I guess since we've already kind of seen it. Yeah. I like how her spell card activation is her swinging the mallet. Look how that works. She sticks the needle in the bowl and spins the bowl perfectly. You want to know something funny? Is in an alternative facts of Eastern Utopia, Sukuna is, uh, she likes whitewater rafting, but she's so small, she's not very good at it. But she... She won a doubles competition by pairing it with Wagasaki Hime. So basically that combination pair was just her on top of Wagasaki Hime as she did the swimming. And they won! They won together as a team! I thought that was pretty funny. It's a little silly, mind you, but it's fine. I think she blocked it. Bullshit. I like when she gets dizzy. Sun didn't forget the mermaid girl. Nobody else did though. <laughs> Country of illusion. Well, oh. you just pushed her out of it. Well. <laughs> so you just gotta be near her. But if you you know if you're in hit stun, then it doesn't work. Yeah, you know, I gotta wonder who the most popular of those three is. Between Wagasaki Hime, Sekibanki, and Kagero. The only reason I, I can't say for sure. The only reason I could I could believe it's Kagero is because of Wool. That's pretty much the only reason. Because he's like the number one contributor on the English speaking side to art for her. So she gets a lot of she gets a lot of great art and so she gets to be seen a lot. Like, I see a lot of Seki Banki as well. I don't see as much Wagasagi Hime, though. Hard to say, because, you know, characters are popular in different parts of the world, right? Yeah. Seki Banki seems the most popular. That's what I would assume, too. But again, I'm a little, I'm a little biased on that. Well, I guess it's because most, uh, most Kagero art is horny. Seki Banki art usually isn't horny. You know how these people work. They, they turn that switch on when they get to drawing. That's how it works. Yeah. 
Stop. I was so close to getting seven, too. Nothing would have it if you got out of the balls, right? What do you intend to do with the balls? Everyone said if you gather seven, you can get bigger. Who said that? Where could you have heard a rumor like that? No matter, there's only one remaining. Most likely, that should be all of them. I wonder who the final- Yeah, who could have seen this coming? End of the days of struggle. Now, you're the last one. Quietly hand over the ball. Now you have to deal with the bike. Yay! What are you planning to do after gathering the balls like this? The Akaren Hijiri. I've determined the true nature of the balls. It appears that they have the property of piercing through space once they've been gathered. What was that? A spatial transfer trap. Well, I caught on to that part rather quickly. The problem, though, is the remaining balls. When more than seven are gathered, the extras split up and fill the land with the occult once more. In other words, if we don't gather all the balls at once, this ruckus will never end. I had a feeling it was something like that. But gathering alone isn't enough. That wouldn't resolve anything, right? If anything, it would make the ruckus bigger. I thought that too, and planned to proceed cautiously until the end. But recently I realized something else. This ball's space-time transfer powers only work in Gensokyo. They have no effect in my dojo. In other words, as long as they're in my possession, they can not be researched to our- They can be researched to our heart's content. That's an interesting theory. Yeah, because the Divine Spirit Mausoleum isn't actually in Gensokyo, it's in a separate pocket dimension that you yes. can reach through Gensokyo. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite. But I simply cannot entrust such a mighty yet unknown power to your sole possession. I thought you'd say that. We have to fight to exchange balls anyway. So you've just saved me the trouble of inciting your gentle disposition to battle. I'm pretty sure Kassen's house is similar, where it's like a little pocket dimension that you can get to through the Yokai Mountain. So it's not technically in Gensokyo, but I'm not, I'm not certain on that. Certain characters... Certain characters uh, attract the more, uh, the horny. That's just how it works. Sanai. Yeah, Sanai's the one of them. Probably the biggest one. Unfortunately. Not much you can do about it. No. Whenever I come across wholesome art, I'm like, finally, some good fucking food. This is how it works, chat. It's, it's the oh, way- it, horny. It's the way it be. Gotta love when you like a character who is wholesome. You don't have to the deal Robertsons with that. Robertsons aren't even that big in official art. <laughs> well, none of them are. The only one that's really big in official art is like Udemy. All the other stuff comes from the, uh, the fighting games. But again, that doesn't change much for Mamizo, since Mamizo is a... Uh, flaws the fucking board in this game. It's all about whatever you want as the artist. Everyone can have Booba. There's no way around it. Aww. Well, it was almost cool. Ow. I keep forgetting about that. Because Sen part. has the highest volume of uh, not safe for work art to safe for work art. Yes. However, you also have to think about how much art Kassen has compared to some other characters. And you realize that while that number is probably still pretty respectable, <laughs> it's not as nearly as high as I like. I think respectable rainbow. is the word I'd use to describe that. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about art in general, not. Fair. Not which, uh, what it borders as. Ow, oh, right. She angles like, this. Reimu, Reimu's art compared to Kassen's art is probably pretty, pretty fuck massive. So oh. the, the percentage of what's, what's safe for work and what isn't, you gotta look at the, you gotta look at the whole numbers for that. So how do I do this one again? Okay, can do that. Got it. Kagudo is 5,946. Seki Monkey is... 3,768. Wagasaki is 3,148. Overall pictures on Donburu. Alright, now remove the, uh... Remove the explicit tag, and let's see what that turns into. I'm very curious about this. <laughs> I want to see what that number looks like without the explicit tag. If, if Kagudo drops by more than 2,000, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> See? Yeah, getting hit by the bike. Ah, this isn't even the right bike one. Keeps angling, man. Yeah, she's hyper like Drifto. Ow, explicit could be violent too. No, I'm pretty sure explicit is usually for uh, explicit's for or questionable usually covers violence. Some things aren't exactly tagged properly, but I, I don't think you're seeing much in terms of explicit violence on Domboru. Not really.
If there's one tag you should never search on an image board, it's the what tag. That tag is fucking dangerous. You never know what you're gonna find in there. I think I did it once because I was like, what the fuck does this mean? And then I was like, oh, okay. I imagine there's more Kagero pictures of sort of bloody scene because of the wolf thing. Eh, well, uh, that wouldn't be marked as explicit, I don't think. Get it. I mean, you did it once, I'll do it again. I'll fucking do it again. Oh, wow, yes. jump too high. What, are you scared? No, I just didn't realize you could do that because you never did it once. Kagero barely dropped. What the fuck? 5,736? Versus 5,000... Only 200? Wow. Wow, barely dropped at all. Tell me how much Sunai drops by. Oh god, I don't, I don't know about that one. That's just gonna make me sad. Kagero only had about 200 explicitly rated uh, drawings. Interesting. I keep jumping too soon. Boros are wow. a mess. Danboro tends to be a little more filtered, I suppose. Safe Boro has nothing that not safe for work. Danboro yeah. has some things, and I then. I mean, is that not. Would I, Safe Boro not be a better way of gauging this? I suppose. Ow. Yeah, yeah try Safe it. Boro. And then you got Gel Boro with a fucking no, no man's land. <laughs> fucking everything's there, no matter what. Wow, we're still here. Unbelievable. <laughs> he really fucking looked down at his wrist. He's not even wearing a watch, Chad. He doesn't even own a watch. You suck. At least I'm not getting hit. Yeah, but you're not hitting her back. Who cares? I'm not getting hit. Oh, what was that? I huh? wasn't getting hit. What? What about the Vine Boru? I don't think you're going to find any search results on that one. Borus are uh, interesting. Domboro is pretty good for collections of translated manga. I know that. I have a few there that I want to read. Because uh, they have translations on them. My, my guard didn't go through, man. The freaky ass eye of face. But I gotta read that one. Like, like there's, quite, there's quite a few I have. Uh, like, fucking pages of them. Absolute pages, and I, I just if, haven't yo, read can them. I teleport? I wanna try teleporting her. Didn't work. That's not gonna work because she has super armor. Bro, I'm too good. There we go. That's great. Damn it. Fell on her head. Uh. With the rating safe modifier, Kagodo 5,270, Seki Bonki 3,500, Wagasaki 2,100. Okay, so. With only this safe modifier, Kagodo drops by... God, how high was that? About 500 for her. Wagasaki Hime drops uh, about 200-ish. Seki Banki also drops about... Hold on, 3, 3, not, three 5... 3, 6... 3, 7, okay. 3, 7, 3, 1, 5, 9. 352952. Yeah, so Kagodo has a lot of questionable art then. Questionable by the deciding of the how the, the, the rating system works. <coughs> Pushlamer. Ow, I ran into Independent it. toilet image board upload games, fan games, otherwise used to happen until mid 2010s. Uh isn't that just the Boria Shrine now? That's basically what that site does, right? Kaboom! She exploded! God, that's ass. No, I know it's not Moria Shrine, but I'm saying that Moria Shrine basically does that. There's also Dynasty Scans for uh, for English translated stuff. That's what I've been using. Here lies Miko's Dojo. Rest in peace. She's getting more visitors because she has all the walls. So now I drops in 5,000 results. God damn it. With only the... With, with safe enabled. 5,000. But her numbers also are just under 30,000 total. So, you know, that's like it's about six times as much as Kagodo. We've got Nameless Visitor. This is my favorite Toho character. 
we can heal. Yeah, Miko, Miko's kind of like a saint, so, but she doesn't really want to train anyone. So, go home, damn it. They're all user tags, so there's human error. That's true. At the very least, I would expect people to know how to tag things properly when it comes to Booba. Traces of the lunar capital. If you see someone in a swimsuit, that's questionable. If you see someone without a swimsuit, that's explicit. <laughs> Plain and simple, really. We haven't been here in a hot minute, actually. No, not for a while. Only, only Marissa and Cassette have actually been here. Yeah. That's because these, these chuckle fucks are learning about how these orbs work. <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. Alright. All right, Chad. Let me do the. Let me do some quick maths. Did I unlock anybody? <laughs> so we have one, we two, have three, now. four, five. Plus rainbow. Uh. Sumireko and Kokoro are locked. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight total. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So. Do Mommy Zos, and then we'll have seven left, I suppose, which will probably be. Yeah, I think that'll work if I do Mommy yeah. Zos and end it. Uh, Mommy Zo had observed Kassen's activities because she could grasp the reason behind the ball's presence. She noticed the flaw in Kassen's plans. Feeling that she was well suited for playing the role of the villain, she also began collecting the balls. Let's see. Uh, this one looks really strong. So that's the Demon Gate. Yeah. What was the transformation one, chat? Or is that her urban legend? Transformation. Is this the what transformation one? Futatsuwa clans. Futatsuwa. Futatsuwa. The magician who's bad at keeping secrets. Got a moment? Got a little question for you. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's been a hot minute since we've seen her, too. Translation request is my favorite tag because no one ever listens to it. I want to talk to you about another world. What? You sure you're not hiding something? How much do you know? I'm asking because I don't know. Well, not much else to do. Want to fight? What? Well, <laughs> welcome to Gen Sopo, chat. Chat, is this the human village in the background, or is this Marissa's house? I don't. I think it's Marissa's house. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not really sure though. I don't know either. Or is this Corindo? Like, I think no. This has to be Corindo. But does that is that what it says over the, the signpost? Because this is definitely. Bro, you're asking the wrong person. There's a bunch of knickknacks and shit, and posters. This is definitely not part of the human village. Yeah, it's Corindo. It is Corindo, okay. That's the stupid statue. It's a Tanuki. Yeah. Dylan, what are you? I'm a Baka Tanuki. Uh, yes. I'm not a potato, I'm a potato. Leaf. Amazing! Frog? You've got one orb, don't forget to use it. I'm gonna use my spell card first. Transform! She's a crow! She's a crow! Or a raven. Well, it's because she likes to steal shiny objects. <laughs> I don't even think they have to be shiny. Well, there's there's Marissa's transformation. She turns into yeah, a... Yeah, this is Corinne, though. This is not Marissa's house. <sighs> Here. Here. That's an occult ball. Oh, so you're giving me this. You looked into the stuff about the outside world, right? So you need to gather these and check it out for yourself. Hello, Reimu. That too, Reimu? Hakure? An occult ball. If you want one of those things, I'm sure I have one. Then could you lend me it? Lend it to me for a bit. Sorry, I can't get rid of it on my own. What? That sounds like some kind of cursed item. Huh. <laughs> well, it might be, in a sense. I just... Got one from Marissa, though. You fought her, right? Then leave if you if you lose a fight. What an interesting rule. Then let's get this started. Sinister ass pose. Right. Let's see what this does. Kassen goes from 5,000. Oh, it's gotcha. To 4,081. How do I activate it? Bro, I don't know. I'm trying to find more ratios. Chad, I want to activate the gotcha pawn. So oh. about, yeah, so I guess about one-fifth of Kassen's art is horny. How do I... I don't know what that was. Have you tried using it again? 
I did it again and I threw another Gachapon. Was it a different input or the same move? Same move. Just threw a red one instead. Weird. Huh. Hold still, please. Chat is now learning what it means to look up horny. They are fascinated by big numbers. Block ah. it. Well, that's alright. Don't forget to use your blob attack. Please. I don't know how! What do you think those two fucking balls over there are? Summon my alien. Now it's green. The blue one's gone. Exit? What do you think that's throwing that? Tell me. No. Well, you're not. You haven't used an orb yet, so. What the? Got me way to activate this. Oh, I didn't realize on the power. Ah. She's so angry. I'm gonna crush her. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can't activate the gotcha pawn. 6A plus B. Press backwards and do the input. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well. If you want the Akal ball, you can have it. Really? Not like you at all. I have some preparations to make before I investigate the balls. I see, I see. And I'll just take it without worrying about it. I'll save it for the big one now, anyway. I get it now. I figured out what these balls really are. Oh, it's you. Hey, am I pretty? Atano Kokoro. Well, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> am I not pretty? I've heard those lines before. The Kuchisaki Ona. Uh, what was it again? Not moose. Not wax. I won't let you say it. If I'm not pretty, then die. She knows. She knows the trick. Kawabunga! Foot mouth emotion. Right, she, found, she only has like one, and it's this. Bleh! Let's see if I can build up a spell card from it. So it's like Notori, I suppose. Notori only has the one, too. Yeah. Ow. Well, you've already got enough gauge, so. What the fuck? She turned into a. Uh... I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a Tengu mask. I know that much. But I can't tell what... And she's Bayov. Chad, did she just turn into a goddamn mask again? Opening capsules costs a leaf. I didn't even realize she spent leaves. Yes, Koishi's in the game. Oh, I remember now. It was Pomade. Yeah, she got me. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you got an occult ball too. I'll be borrowing that. How much of this is true? I get it now. These balls I've got my hands on are stones gathered from the sacred places in the outside world. Those things they call power stones, you know? With these, that's about anyone could break the barrier. What are you doing? You of all people. So you found me. I thought I told you to leave this alone if you value your life. So you were lying when you said you didn't want to be wrapped up in something troublesome? Aren't you underestimating me? Even without these balls, I can go to the outside world whenever I want. I won't overlook any further interference. I'll just say you happily went back to the outside world. Damn. Do I have enough? Let's see. I do. Space security leak. Deal with the situation promptly. If you say Pomme three times, she leaves. See? Mommy's though in a business suit. Men in nice. black. I have no. a feeling that that outfit was very popular when this game came out. If you say Pomme three times she leaves, you can also throw money or caramel at her. Caramel? Huh? Why? <laughs> I like how you do that, but then you're like, yeah, man, you can get rid of this uh, super deadly depression by just eating corn. And that made perfect sense. <laughs> what the fuck does Pomme have to caramel to do with it? Well, I don't know. Hiya! Blue UFO! Ow. No! Damn it. Oh, Chad, this is something I wanted to share. So, uh, 
You know how Dylan recently shared his experience of reaching peak sleep delirium by imagining Eggman and JoJo poses? Oh yeah, I well, forgot uh, about that. I think I've reached my own state of uh, peak sleep delirium where when I'm just when I'm trying to sleep and I just can't bring my brain to think, the only thing I can see when my eyes are closed is Pokemon Puzzle League gameplay. <laughs> just super optimal Puzzle League gameplay that changes the board as necessary. I whoops. Died. I don't, I don't know, well, I do know why. It's probably because I've been playing it a lot recently. Because my computer can do that. God damn it! She interrupted my attack. I have to wait for it to charge again. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I close my, when I'm in peak delirium, it's just, well, I guess I'm just watching Puzzle League now. I need my bar back. Yeah! Chat, the world record for that game is like under 14 minutes. Super hard? Yeah, super hard. Alright, now we're gonna get it. Oh yeah, you can just do that now, huh? Now hold still, damn it! You are... She's snake! snake. She's a snack. Beat the shit out of her, I suppose. Oh, she's still fine. There you go. She's a snake on an orb. Ow. Ow. What is happening? You are getting beaten. Yeah! Remember, chat, frogs go mwam mwam. Snakes go... Thanks for coming, folks. That panel never ceases to make me laugh. Yuck! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the panel has coming spelled C O M I G N. Big tongue. Cannonbo! Why come on, so just casually, like, has a bowl of something while she's backing away? Bowl? It's a socket cup. Whatever, you know what I mean. Big old gourd. Yeah, I'm, sorry da, 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 da. I'm sorry if I'm sniffly because. No, it's getting stuffy. Not much I can do. Shrug. Oops, did I do that? Ooh, scary. For a second, I thought I was gonna meet my end in this place. A place like this. Don't worry, though, I can hazard a guess as to what you're planning. Uh. The person behind the occult balls is in the outside world, right? Ah. Uh. As long as she's there, you can't lay a hand on her. So you're going to properly lure her in against Sokyo, I imagine. You sure know it pretty well. I thought Raymond and Marissa were acting oddly, like they were hiding something. Are they cooperating with you on this too? Those two were supposed to be the force to implement the last stage of the plan after we dragged the enemy into against Tokyo. I see. So that's why they're not too eager to gather the balls. However, this is a dangerous gamble. Even if we have a good reason, we'd still be breaking the rules of Tokyo. Then why not let me be the force who handles the outside world? Huh? If I was ever found out that you interfered outside, it would raise some false suspicions. For me, though, it'd be fine no matter what happened. And I'm the one who knows the most about the outside world anyway. I'm gonna use this ball and set a little trap of my own. We're probably gonna look up or just check ourselves to see what everyone turns into. Well, no, I'll do it on I'll do it on stream next time, because yeah. we don't have all the characters just, unlocked anyway. Yeah. I didn't really notice it back when I lived in the outside world, but now that I look at it again, the changes are bewildering. Is it thriving or declining? Well, either way, to experience change is to be alive. Oh, I caught another one. You again. You look like me. That, that tail. tail. This time, it's an easy to identify yokai. My, a human flying in the sky is pretty rare these days. I see, I see. So it's you. I'm surprised it was a female student, though. You're calling us female students in this day and age? Man, you're old-fashioned. But I'm glad. Thanks to you, Gensoku's gotten pretty exciting lately. Right? I knew it. You can probably save it for Anatomy and Common Flowers too if you want to. Eh, probably not. That's true, because there'll be more characters than that. I mean, we can just check them. We'll yeah, I'll there. just hold off. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. If it caused a big ripple, it was worth throwing the stone, after all. Everyone in this game comes back in that one anyway, and they don't change the, uh... They don't change what they turn into. By the way, do you have some kind of ultimate goal for this? Not really. I found something that looked fun, so I tried it out. I'm not thinking of anything bothersome like an ultimate goal. Is that so? Well, that sounds about right for a modern female stu- I mean, teenage schoolgirl. But well, you'll get bored of that pretty soon. 
So how about a match with me? A match? I got a new power stone right here. What? Could that be? That's right. I caught on. You call balls are really stones taken from power spots. And what I'm holding against so is Gensokyo's very own power stone. With just this, you could come and go to Gensokyo whenever you want. If you can beat me, I'll give it to you. Interesting. I want it, I want it. So, what happens if I lose? Let's see. How about you give me a tour of the outside world for a day? Is that all? Then I'm in. Of course, I'm obviously going to be the one to win. I'll try too hard now. Alright, I'm getting fired up now. Time to show off my ESP. It's hard to gauge Mommy Zoe's strength sometimes. It really is. I'm pretty sure she's really strong, but I don't know. It definitely comes off like she's really strong. But then every now and again, like she gets her ass kicked, and it's like, oh, you I aren't mean, trying. Gets her ass kicked by people. I know, I know. But all this masquerade leads me to believe that she's got like nothing. Also, the background to my character portrait reminds me of Counter Strike missing textures. Uh, I'm gonna save my orb move for uh, when she actually has called ball stuff and she can't block it. I'll transform her at with this one. Well, yeah. Come on, I activated first star. You don't have, since they don't seem to expire like ever. <laughs> what is she? An egg? She's a spooky ghost. Can't see her because she's against the wall. Turn to a bake bake. Illegal dumping. And to be fair, considering people want to say that Maribel and Yukari are related for looking similar, I wouldn't say it's too far fetched to assume that these two could have some relation. Again, they have the same last name. No, not Runko and Sumereko, uh Mamizo and Sumereko. What? Why were those two these two have any relation? Because they look similar. <laughs> huh? She's a fucking tanuki! Yeah, but the hair and the glasses. That matter. is a terrible reason. This is the worst thing you've ever said on my stream. And you hey talk now. a lot. Hey now, I haven't said anything, okay? That was the worst fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Game theory level shit. Is Sumireko and Mamizo related? They both have short brown hair and wear glasses. <gasps> but Dylan, when will the similarities end? But Dylan, the earlobes. Excuse me? What am I getting hit with? Holy shit! Oh, that didn't do any damage at all. Here, take that. What? I'm just talking- I'm just talking- I'm picking up where chat leaves off, okay? Don't yell at me. Yelling at you because it's stupid. But why? I'm not the one who brought it up. Well, I'm the one who brought it up. Not in chat. Look, man. You know, when chat says stupid I'm things, I don't answer them. Look, man. I'm just the messenger, okay? Alright, beat her up. I, I don't no, know why I, I did that. Didn't I didn't- have... I don't know why I did that one again. Well, I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna finish her with the big move. Dylan and Tanuki are literally the one type of yokai that can literally turn into humans. They've got a point. What? What's your point? What's your point, Chuckle Fuck? How does that have any relation to this character? I forgot how to do it. Sumi Reko is like 18 years old, 17 years old. Mami Zo is okay, hundreds of I'm years just old. Saying. I'm just saying, people want to make the same argument for Yukari and Maribel, no one calls it stupid there. They do call it stupid. Do they? Lots of people call that stupid. Okay, cool. If you say that Yukari and Maribel are similar, are the same character, you have people who are like, yes, I agree, and you have people who are like, that's the stupidest fucking thing you've ever said, shut up. You think there's a unanimous agreement on that? No. Also, if there's if these two have any relation at all, explain why Mamizo doesn't recognize or make any implication of such. You think Mamizo wouldn't do that? Look, man, I wasn't saying I agreed with it. Stupid. I was just bringing it up. Stupid. It's game theory level shit. Rosalina's mother is buried in the tree at the Peach's Castle area that's off screen. Luigi. She made a she made a Gensokyo ball. Nice. It means many humans on Sado are actually part Tanuki. Symbios says so. But Sumereko isn't a Tanuki. What the fuck are you talking about? We're not in Sado. We're in Tokyo, aren't we? I don't fucking know, man. Is mailing an orange related? But that's just the theory too. See, that's that's an interesting one. Those two have similarities in the way they talk. Oh, the so now work. it's not stupid. 
they're both fucking yokai, and one of them's from PC98. So my record is a human being. This is so stupid. This is the stupidest fucking game theory I've ever had to partake in. Wow, chat. That guy across that guy across the world has short brown hair, just like me. I wonder if we're actually related. That's not how that works. I mean, I didn't say anyone said that. God damn it! I'm done humoring this. If you, if you want to believe that fucking 130 years ago, mommy Zoe went and got a jiggy with some dude, <laughs> and then fucking spawned Renko's and uh, Semireko's entire bloodline to create Sumireko, hundreds of years later, then. That's your own fucking conspiracy tinfoil hat, bottom of the coffee pot filter drink you want to drink, yeah, alright? you're going off on a joke right now. Uh, yeah, I guess I am, but it's really fucking stupid. Anyway, we're done, chat. We're done. It's uh, been just about three hours. We have, uh... God, it's been three hours, what the fuck? We have Moko, Sukuna, Natori, and Koishi. Got four of them there. And then we have Kokoro, and then Sumireko, and then Reimo. So there's seven left. You see, hers isn't really marked because it's not, I, I don't know, I, I don't think the story continues. Something like that. I don't really know. Either way, there's the back button. There we go. We can probably finish this on Friday, which is amazing because I thought with more characters it would mean that we wouldn't be able to, like... Well, there's also only five stages this time around. That's true. There's not as many stages, and when we continue, we don't have to redo the entire fight. And also, there's only, like, three spell cards per each one. Yeah, every so, fight is also just short as hell. It's going bad pretty fast, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for that for now, chat. We'll finish it next Friday, and then we will come back with, uh, all four. So, you know, maybe that'll be, maybe that'll be in everyone's best interest. Hard, maybe. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll get more information on this one. Uh, when we'll do 15.5, I'm not sure, but, you know, we'll only focus on finishing this one first.